Season two was definitely when I really realized that I wanted to be a professional dancer. Not so much actress yet, but definitely dancing the rest of my life. We both knew that Maddie wanted to be a star and Abby was gonna do anything she could to make her a star. I think my relationship with Abby is a little bit different than the girls. Definitely back, back in season one, season two, I was Definitely it was more different because she really put all of her attention on me, which is really nice, but I definitely feel like she does treat me like more of an adult, and she always has. She expects a lot from me. Focus. Represent. The pressure I'm feeling this week is because I'm their national winner, so and I don't want to let Miss Abby down. breaks your heart. Abby's not gonna hate you, Maddie. Sorry. Aw, see, she thinks you hate her. See, I told you she doesn't hate you. Maddie, it's not your fault, honey. You were such a fabulous kid. I think it really taught Maddie something at that point in time. The thing she was most worried about was that Abby was gonna hate her. It wasn't even about the competition that much. It was more about Abby hating me because I don't want to disappoint her. And that was when I started to actually get better and stuff, so. Uh -huh. Really take was, dance seriously. Yeah, and it was really hard for me, and I remember that week, I was really mad because I only had like a day to actually be in the studio, and then I learned my whole dance in the hotel hallway. Mm -hmm. And there was a camera that, you know, records the competition, and it was literally like this close to my face. That always, you know, freaks a person out. I remember the girl before me, she actually forgot her dance too, mm -hmm. because the jib was in her face. And She did, I remember and that And it's now. really, scary to like watch it happen and um, just I mean now you're used to all the cameras and I, the jibs I'm and like people to, in your face I'm used to it but uh, still to this day a jib has never been that close to my face it was just a little weird but I mean it's over now mm -hmm. all right here we are let's go this week the girls and I are in New York City to rehearse for a Joffrey ballet audition Come on, ladies, let's go! For these little girls, this is a chance of a lifetime. I don't want to see any of them blow it. This competition season has been extremely tough and extremely rewarding, but I think the kids are ready for whatever New York City has to offer. They want to show their own talents, and I think this is a great opportunity. Girls, this is the big time. We are here in New York City in the dance mecca of the world right here, and I want you to take it all in. Everybody you pass on that street probably took a dance lesson at some point in their life. Do you understand that? Yes, there's a lot of kids that win competitions, a lot of kids that get crowns on their heads, and there's a handful that make it in the industry. Remember that. I wanna talk about Michigan first. We are not going to win a group dance until everybody in this group is on the same level. Number 131A, wipe them out, Star Dance Studio. When parts of the choreography are in unison, you all need to be in unison, that's what it means. Last week, these girls lost again. They were sloppy, their timing was off, they need to bond as a group. It's not always about your solos. It's about that group and you need to learn to dance in a group. If you don't apply the corrections, you're not going to improve. And that's the issue. Until they realize that, it's not gonna happen. Now, 
On with the pyramid. Luckily, the pyramid found its way to Manhattan. Yay. On the bottom of the pyramid is Paige. Did you correct the arms? Yes. Did you put the phone away? No. She gets no credit for doing her back talk or her press or... Credit? It's, it's her phone. I thought watching Paige in the group number, I thought she did great. I just don't think that Abby gives her enough credit. She always sticks her in the back and doesn't pay attention to her, and I think she can hold her own. I, I think she's fine in the group. Next, Mackenzie. You can improv if you're early on the music in a solo. But when you do it in a trio and you don't tell the other two partners to do it ahead of time, you made them look like idiots because you were out there, woo, shaking it up. Understood? Next, Chloe. Time to face the music. Forgot your routine. You're not seven anymore. You're 10 years old. You can't make up your own thing and wait to get back onto the music when 35 other dancers are doing the right thing. That's a pink slip. That's the unemployment line. Understood? Next, Nia. You hurt your foot, you worked through it, it all worked out. However, it's the technique. And it's like we tell you over and over, it's up to you. Do you want to fix it? Do you want to make it better? Then you will. Understood? Next, we have Brooke. Brooke, you did what you needed to do, but you always just do what you needed to do. I want to see more from you. I'd love to give her more, but Miss Abby spends all her time with all the other girls. And on top, again, is Maddie. I challenge you to keep winning your solos because you pick up quickly. No big surprise, for the fifth week in a row, Maddie reigns supreme at the top of the pyramid. I want to talk about after the competition. The scout from the Joffrey Ballet School came to our dressing room. They chose the Abbey Lee Dance Company. The Joffrey Ballet School has huge history here. Robert Joffrey started the school in 1953. There are people from all over the world coming here to train. You're going to be going to the Joffrey School with some of the most prestigious instructors in all of New York. Throughout the year, Joffrey auditions over 20,000 dancers for their summer intensive program and they only give a handful of scholarships away. If one of my girls would get those scholarships, that would just be another feather in my cap. The judges that are judging you are three instructors at the Joffrey School. They're going to look at feet, turnout, body lines. Everything you've learned up until this point is gonna come into play in this audition. I have to tell you that I'm very nervous for our girls to be auditioning for the Joffrey Ballet School, simply because our girls don't get a lot of ballet anymore. So I hope that they don't embarrass themselves. You guys need to fight for this. We have to work on a ballet combination today. We have to work on a short presentation for each one of you to do when you go into that audition. I expected you to look like ballerinas. I'm shocked at the way you're dressed. Here you are in New York City going to a professional dance studio. You never know who's gonna be there. You never know who's gonna see you. You always wanna look your best. You're going to have pink tights on. You're going to have a leotard on. You're going to have your hair in a bun. So moms, you're gonna have to go out. You're gonna have to hit the dancewear store. And I want them looking like ballerinas. The look is half the battle. Mommy's not gonna be there. Abby's not gonna be in there. It's you. You either sink or swim. And please don't embarrass me. It's a really big deal to dance at the Joffrey Ballet School, especially when you're young. Performing for a huge audience actually doesn't really get me that nervous. But performing for like three of like amazing ballerinas, that's it, a little nerve wracking. In addition to our rehearsals for this ballet audition, we are also going to be working on a number. You heard that right. So, we will be attending Starbound competition in Paramus, New Jersey. And the competition is going to be fierce. I've had it with these girls. We are going to Starbound this weekend and they have a reputation to uphold. They are reigning national champions. I expect them to win and they're gonna do it. Ladies, our group routine this week is about a very serious topic. Okay. Let me just say, each one of you is in jail. I had a brilliant idea to do kind of a take on 
an old number from the Broadway show Chicago. But I want to water it down for nine, 10, 11 year olds. So they're like jailbirds. It's dark, it's a bit avant-garde, and it's gonna be fun. It's very weird being in jail because I've never been there before. Chloe, you just came off a solo, you forgot your routine, you gotta get right back on that horse. You're going to be doing a solo this weekend. Maddie, you've been undefeated for the last few weeks, so I'm challenging you once again to do a solo at Starbound. This might be the busiest week of your life. Abby bit off more than she could chew last week with trios and solos and group dances, and this week we're doing group dances and solos in the Joffrey audition. Can't we just focus on one thing? I know that I'm putting the pressure on you, but you know what? There's a time for pressure, and it's right now. You are representing the Abby Lee Dance Company. You are representing 32 years of history. Do you understand that? Don't blow it. Girls, come on in. I have a really spectacular announcement that I want to make. I found out that Joffrey Ballet is having open auditions in my most favorite city in the world. New York. New York. I've got a lot of work that I have to do. I think that we are completely ready to go up against some of Abby's dancers and audition for a scholarship to Joffrey. We're gonna hit the audition yeah. and then we're going to New Jersey because Starbound is there. Is Abby going to do that? Yeah, pressure's on, Miss Kendall. There's probably gonna be more and more events that we run into Abby. That's just the way it is. I think that we probably have better ballet training than they do, but we'll see. Abby is way stuck in vaudeville. She's still dancing on a 1940s stage with her mom, and we have a wonderful routine that is very heartfelt that I think that finally, we may be able to beat Abby with this number. Go. One, two, three, two, two, three, boom! something from one of your solos, something that is amazing that you do better than anybody else does. But the Abby Lee Dance Company is gonna concentrate on two main things, the Joffrey Ballet audition, and the very next day, the Starbound competition. I don't think that you understand quite how important this is. I mean, you cannot go in there and look like a slacker. I think just walking into the Joffrey School is gonna be tough on these kids. They are not little Trinas. They don't take ballet class every single day, all day long. So I think it's gonna be intimidating. I think they're gonna be frightened. I think they're gonna be a nervous wreck. And I just hope their mothers are frightened and nervous and keep their mouths closed. You're going in front of people that have had great careers. You don't wanna walk in there and be the big joke that they're gonna laugh at when they go home tonight. Everyone feels on edge. We have this audition coming up and the girls do not have a lot of ballet background. There's more pressure than normal this week. And where do you think an arabesque should be? Down here where yours is? No, at least parallel to the floor. And you can't do a crash course on this. How did that look? Better? Mm -hmm. Keep going. This has to stop. I know, but that's why you wear a leotard that fits you correctly. Abby, is it possible that um, you could give us some ideas when we go to look for the appropriate black leotard, if there's certain types of leotards we should be looking for that complement each of their body styles? Not saying that we could find them, but you might stand a better you chance. You want your them. legs to look long and your body, your torso to look short. This is a cute outfit and she's wearing it and it's not giving her a problem. However, this would be more appropriate. Wow, yeah. Even from the side. To be honest with you, I'm not really sure what a New York City look is for a dancer. So if she has this vision, it's her responsibility to communicate that because otherwise we can't prepare them for what she has in mind. All this stuff is really taking away from her dancing and we're, it's all about selling that outfit. All of you, stop with these crazy outfits. Oh, I'm so excited! I wonder if this is a flagship store. If we can find a way to quiet Abby down, 
Let's do it. Let's go shopping for black leotards so tomorrow we don't have to hear it. We're looking for black leos that have really high cut for kids. Now feeling a little pressured, overwhelmed. Abby wants us to get special leotards, and we don't have any time in the day to do so. But that's too basic. She wants something a little more. Well, just prettier. We didn't know we were supposed to bring 900 black leotards. I brought two. She's so particular about what fits and what doesn't, and the colors. Do you think those leotards are going to satisfy Abby? The shopping trip went well. We were able to each find a leotard for the girls. They were solid. We got our pink tights and our ballet slippers, so hopefully, Mum's the word tomorrow. You know, she's so specific about what a leotard can do for your body. Maybe they ought to ask if they have one in her size. Oh, they don't make leotards that size. <laughs> Everybody who dances for candy apples knows that they have a certain aura about them when they walk into a competition. Based on everything that I've done with Kendall, I think that she is completely ready to go up against some of Abby's dancers and audition for a scholarship to Joffrey. You know, I'm down a spectacular dancer. No, she, she, feels, she feels like she broke. I put a lot of stock in Taylor, and I don't want to pressure you by any means other than to say she's got big shoes to fill. I'm really nervous to do my solos in front of ballet judges because I'm used to doing it in front of audiences and not just being in a room with judges. You have to rise to the occasion. You know, cream rises to the top. So we want to have ourselves a latte. When you step forward right away, your head's forward, boom. Bum, bum. I am so excited for my solo this week. I'm finally the Red Queen from Alice in Wonderland, and I've been waiting for this forever. Now take your hands right here and go. <laughs> Chloe is doing Queen of Hearts. She really relates to the darkness, to the viciousness, to the evil aspect of playing a character that is on the dark side. And when you lunge, your head's here, Push through, look at it, change your head around. You know, when you tell a kid to be happy and smile, that's easy. But when you tell them that they have to be evil and they have to be insightful and they have to be attacking the judges, it gives them more to work with. It gives them a storyline to follow. And that's where Chloe shines. Come on, Maddie. So Maddie, it's called In My Heart. We have one day to learn it because tomorrow is the big Joffrey Ballet audition. My solo this week is a lyrical routine and it's called In My Heart and I really love the song and the choreography. Low, hold. This is a stellar routine for her. It has all the elements that she needs. She jumps, she turns, her transitions are lovely. It certainly is a routine that's right up Maddie's alley. That and go right into that from there. One, two. And you can't illusion until the pressure is on. I expect Maddie to do really well this weekend. It's hard to get to the top of the pyramid, but it's even harder to stay there. Harder to stay there. So, game on. Girls, come on, listen up. We have two days until you are in Paramus, New Jersey, doing this competition at Starbound. I really need my girls to turn it on and turn it up. On, Our group number has not placed at the top for weeks, and I'm sick of it. We have a few more hours to rehearse, and they better get this perfect. Go get your dance bags, put your jazz shoes on. <sighs> yeah, we don't even have a dance bag. Go tell Miss Abby that you and Mackenzie left him on the couch. Don't start crying. I'm not in the mood today for any of this at all. So don't get upset about it. I don't care. Girls, let's go. Come on. Her dance bags are at the hotel. Okay. Every kid makes a mistake, Maddie. OK, you're, you're not perfect. Maddie was really upset because she left her dance bag at the hotel. That's her dance bag. I mean, that's her shoes. So she was very upset, and she wasn't herself the whole day. It was my fault, totally my fault. It's not your fault. It's her dance bag. Well, every kid makes a mistake, Abby. And you know, 
so it's my fault. Well, I should have checked. I don't want Maddie to make mistakes. And when you get here, no one's perfect. There's kids that are living here that are 14 and 15 years old on their own, paying their own bills. And when you guys get here, you can't call mommy. When you walk into an audition, it's your responsibility, not your mother's. It's a pair of shoes. Who cares? Maddie is on the top of the pyramid for the fifth time, and Abby puts a lot of pressure on her. Maddie is such a perfectionist, um, and she's hard on herself. Maddie, stop with the space, because I'm not in the mood. <laughs> Hello, no, it's Melissa. Like, in Parenting 101, if your daughter forgets some ballet slippers, don't flip out and stress her out. It's a couple of $14.99 ballet slippers. Like, run down the street and get her a new pair. Your kid is in there, and her brain is not in her head, because in the back of her head, she's thinking about, where's my bag? What if I lost my shoes? How am I going to get them? This is about your kid having an audition tomorrow and her brain not being in her head. She's not focused on the routine. Mackenzie and Maddie left their bags in the lobby of the hotel. Now, what are we gonna do? That the more your kid is on the ball, the more people expect. And that's sad, but that's the truth. We just don't have time for mistakes like this. Now Maddie's flustered, and it's costing us time that we just don't have. If the group loses again this week, I'm finished. I need you to be nasty and bitter and mean. You're playing a part. Line, I wanna see those points! This obviously is for jailbirds, and it's a little scary to think about. I think you just have to set aside the jailbirds part and focus more on the dance and really getting into it and acting. Chloe, that's a grown play a second. You're not hitting that. Slow down. I think our girls are sweet girls, so I think it's going to be hard for them to be dancing behind jail bars. This is the last chance I have to work on the group number for the Starbound competition before the Joffrey audition. My girls are nowhere near being ready for this. All right, girls, listen. Tomorrow is the Joffrey Ballet audition. There's gonna be other kids your age auditioning for the same Joffrey intensive. Everybody wants it and everybody wants it bad or they wouldn't be here. This is a big deal, I want all three of those ballet teachers to know how talented the children are from the Abby Lee Dance Company. Don't walk in there and embarrass me. At this point, I'm thinking that this group number is a hot mess. It's like a train wreck, and I'm trapped in dance jail and I can't get out. I, I have never been so stressed out doing nothing in my life. It's like a whole well, It's stressful that. sitting there watching her, like, treat our kids like that. Oh. I think she brings out the worst of us. Absolutely. Absolutely. The way I'm looking at the audition for tomorrow, I'm not expecting to get a win it. This is a hard balance, as a, I think, as a mom, is trying to encourage your daughter to go out and do well, but also temper that so she's not getting her hopes up too high. I don't expect Nia to win, but I do care about the audition for my daughter because it means something to her. So I'm still trying to figure out what exactly happened with these dance bags. I swear on my life, Maddie said to her, Mom, do you have my dance bag? I think we should steal their bags. <laughs> Next time we'll steal their bags so they get in trouble. Because otherwise they will again. I've never seen them get in trouble for any dance bags. Well, yeah, Christy probably has it up in her room. Maybe. thousand dancers every year audition for Joffrey's summer program. This is a big time. It's intense. You're just at the beginning of your shot. You have something to work for. The Joffrey is a huge deal, and it really, really, really could make or break somebody's career because ballet is the foundation of all other dance. Girls, remember, you're not just representing yourself. You're representing the Abbey Lee Dance Company. warming up in the hall and then I hear girls, 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 girls. Oh, Kathy has arrived. Hi. How are you guys? Good, how are you? Good. Hi, ladies. 
candy apples need to get a life and quit following the Abby Lee Dance Company around. Leave with the chest down. Up. Girls, if you don't know it yet, you're never going to know it. Stop voicing your opinion because it doesn't matter here. We have every right to be at the exact same places that she is. Hi, Abby. How are you? Good. How are you? Good, thanks. Nice to see you guys here. To run into Abby, it kind of changed the mood, my mood, and Kendall's mood a little bit, but oh well. We are ready for the solos. Shoulders down, big smile, use your face. 249, Paige. 249, let's go. Do you have something for us? I like the piece Abby put together for my audition because it has some of my good tricks and everything. Brooke, make it look easy because that's what's impressive about you. All judges have different opinions, so they may hate tricks or they may love tricks, so I have no clue how this piece is going to go over. of tricks. Holly, are you nervous? Are you pacing? Pacing, I'm very nervous. That's what I used to do. I used to throw up in a bucket outside. Yeah. Got a bucket? I think I did pretty well. I hope I get the scholarship. You jumped, you flipped, you twirled uh, a lot. But you gotta tell whoever told you to shake your bum bum like that that they are a dum dum. Hey, Abby taught me how to shake my bum bum, and I shake it pretty well. What did they say? <laughs> whoever taught you to shake your bum bum is a dum dum. Ah! That's your mother. Uh uh. No! No! no. no. think you need that much makeup in a ballet audition? It's a little over the top. All right, go get him. Good luck, Kendall. Good luck, Kendall. I think Kendall is a beautiful little dancer, and I really hope that she can come out on top and get this scholarship. I very much enjoyed the arms in the beginning of the dance. That was lovely. Very nice. This is like your forte. You're good at ballet. You look like a ballerina. You have a beautiful body. I think Abby is putting a lot of pressure on Chloe and Maddie this week, and it's almost like the whole Maddie Chloe showdown once again. Go in there and own it. Okay. Okay. I'm very excited for the ballet audition. I mean, I've never done something this big before in my entire dance life. So it's every man for himself. You got something for us? Mm -hmm. Yes? All right. Take the floor. Your natural, just God-given ability is fantastic. It's wonderful. You really have something special. Just please get into more ballet classes. Would you go out there and send in number 252, Maddie? Yep. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. They told me that they think that I need more ballet classes, which makes me a little bit nervous, thinking that maybe like I don't have enough training for the Joffrey Ballet School. I mean, you never know what the three judges could be thinking, like, oh, we want her, we don't want her. I, you never know what they want. You should be proud of yourself. Thanks. I think going up against Chloe is going to be hard because she's more of a ballerina than I am. Shoulders down, shoulders back the whole time, no pouch. I'm really nervous because we don't really do ballet that often, and we have three ballet judges. So, Maddie, you got something you can show us? Yes. All right.
you really know how to perform. Thank you. Some showmanship going on there. You could have been on Broadway, but you have to be a dancer. Throughout the whole piece, I kept wanting there to be a pause. I wanted there to be a time where you let your body finish and move all the way through something before jumping into the next movement. Uh, can you go up on Releve? Show me Releve, right? Go really high up on the Releve, okay? Those feet have more potential than what you're using right now. But you've got to work hard to do it. They said that I had great potential. Maddie came out and Maddie was not all that confident. She takes things very seriously and very much to heart. Two and three. Four and five, flex at six. We all know that Kendall has had training other places. So we've just kind of tweaked out all the bad habits that she's gathered along the way. Jeez. Kathy's gotten Kendall so many things going on. That's wonderful. How have the moms been at Candy Apples, Jill? The moms are great. That's I probably why so. I have 300 students versus 20, because I don't have a problem with embracing new customers. Kathy. How many kids have you had here, Joffrey? How many have you had, Abby? Three. I highly doubt that you've had three people here. Uh, I've had students study here in the summer every single year, and I'm not going to start to name them off because it means nothing to you. I honestly feel that the Abby Lee Miller gang think that they've got the market on any competition, any audition, anything that has to do with dance. They are nothing but trouble. And it was honestly fun just to get Abby's feathers ruffled. Good afternoon, everyone. We are ready for the dancers. All right, now if I could get number 247 over here, please. From fifth, fifth position, tendu and close, tendu and close. Let's see, number 250 was popping her foot out and bringing it back. Oh, so sorry, that's your child. Kathy. Kathy, is that all you guys can say? You're not even supposed to be watching, aren't you? The teacher well, then stop you know that. your head in. I what? Didn't. I just turned what? around and what? looked for you. I don't see a sign that says no teachers allowed. It's just etiquette. No, no, no. no. You don't you know look in you on an audition. Listen, or let alone a dance class. Take some of that tension out of the shoulders there. Lift up through the back of that neck. Pull the stomach in. Good. Work through that foot each time. Let's put the floppy pins in your hair. Kathy, are you going to use that for later? Yep. Honey, I just so want to have style, and oh, you don't. Kathy. I suggest you shut your mouth and walk away Oh, from why? Are you going to beat me up? Kathy comes in, and she talks about my manners and my etiquette, and she cannot conduct herself like a human being. And I'm trying to sit there and ignore her, but my god, it's like needles on a chalkboard. Finally, I'm just like, ah! You don't even know me. I can read you like a book. You are so full of Please be gone. Oh, nice language. I know. I That's what you from always you. have to. No, you didn't. Christy is being her usual self. She's jawing about something that's not suiting her fancy. Up and over to the bar, lengthen up out of that side, keep those stomachs strong. Kathy, let's tone it down a notch. You're at the Joffrey Ballet, a little decorum, please. And we've got Abby who's screaming, be quiet, yet it's her voice that you hear. There's an audition no going slash. on right behind the door. Shush! I'm not the one that's always drunk and can't take care I'm of my kids. I'm not drunk kid. and I can take oh, care of everybody. Oh, but you've fun. always got a drink in your hand. You embarrass yourself every time you open your mouth. Pardon me one moment, please. <gasps> Ladies. Thank you. Thank you. We have you. a ballet class in here. Thank you. You embarrass yourself every time you open your mouth. Pardon me one moment, please. Ladies. We're having a ballet class in here. Thank you. If you don't respect me and you don't respect these girls, respect don't only talk the to me. art form. You need to talk to her as You just well. got my focus, everybody. Please. I was beyond mortified. Yes. And I was just so mad that I let Kathy get the best of me. And I, I behaved that way because I had no intentions of that. I don't want anyone to ever execute behavior like what I had to step out that door and tell the people who were responsible for you to not behave like. I'm also feeling a bit embarrassed. Kathy is completely unprofessional. She's loud, she's obnoxious, and I don't want to be around her anymore. Don't let a bad influence like that influence your lives. Our moms were really bad. 
It was so rude. I hope they don't embarrass me again. All right. Thank you all for coming in. We will let you know. There are three judges in there. Thank you. Somebody's going to say something nice, and somebody's not. Overall, I think they did a great job. But now, we need to focus on that competition. Come on, ladies, hurry. When you got it, girls? We are the overall grand champions from the Starbound Nationals in Lake Tahoe, Nevada. Hi. Good, good, good. I'll come back and check in. I want to get them to the dressing room. Thanks. So every time we attend a Starbound, it's important that we hold on to that title and we prove ourselves time and time again. We need to be on top. OK, girls, listen to me closely. You know we're in New Jersey. We're at Starbound. You are the national champions, but I'll tell you what. A lot of these really talented studios were not at the Nationals in Lake Tahoe. So I think you have your work cut out for you today. It's tough. I mean, they're thinking about a new dance, a new routine for Starbound, and Abby never hesitates to remind the girls that you're the national champions of Starbound. It's more pressure than normal this week. Uh, where are the candles? Bunny, I'm putting you in charge of the candles, and I also have the um, blanket. Guys, can we run the number? Who's got their hair done? Almost, okay. All right, so, you know, up to this point at competitions, we've kind of been doing spooky numbers. So let's just keep it really beautiful. Starbound is a huge competition, and the Abby Lee Miller Company is going to be there, as well as Candy Apple Stand Center. And we have a wonderful routine that is very heartfelt, that I think that finally we may be able to take charge, possibly beat Abby with this number. Hey, good luck, everybody. Thank you. Nail it. Guys, I'm nervous. Stare at that judge. That's not a floppy foot. Point your toe. I think this dance is a mess. They're working with this jail prop, and I think that a lot of the moves that she's having them do, it's not very technical. I think our girls have way more technique than what is put in this dance. Open that attitude up. Your foot should be parallel to the ground. Abby's putting all this pressure on us that we have to win this competition because we're the national champions. Starting with number 892, small group open, ages 9 and 10, number 892, hurt them first. being in a jail cell. And so I'm trying to put my feelings aside that I really don't like it, but she's a character for this piece. So I'm going with it. I love the number. I couldn't believe the acting going on there. You don't wanna get hurt, you gotta hurt them first. As a team, we happen to be able to catch the Abby Lee dancers doing their jailhouse rock routine. It was a bad takeoff of Chicago. I couldn't tell. The dance is flat. The group number was great. They were hot, and they knew it. Judges next up is number 870, almost heaven. <laughs> Knowing what we were going to bring to the stage, we were feeling very confident. We wanted a perfect performance. Why you should try. 
try when your body aches to surrender. Kathy's number was very technical, very mature. Kendall looks like a little angel, and I really, really am excited. I love it. on the edge of my seat right now. My palms are sweating and my butt's shaking, which is what happens when I get nervous. You guys ready for some awards or what? Oh, yeah. I think that Kathy might lead us. In my hands, I hold the top 10 junior groups. In 10th place. You guys ready for some awards or what? Oh yeah! And here we go. We start out small group open, ages 9 and 10, in 10th place, with a score of 286. 892, heard them first, Abby Lee Dance Company! I was very humiliated. We are the overall grand champions from the Starbound Nationals. Maybe the judges didn't get it. That's their right. That's what you get when you go to competition. Congratulations one more time to hurt them first in 10th place. Our group number came in 10th. We've never come in 10th place. Moving it kind of mortified us a little bit, but it is what it is. Moving on to 9th place. One point higher with the score of 287. Eight, seven, zero, almost having candy apples dance. Step back up. Who helps you with this routine? Kathy Nesbitt-Stein. Remind everybody one more time what studio you're from. Candy Apples Dance Center. There it is, your ninth place. Junior group, almost heaven. I'm looking around, and all of the moms have these incredibly impish grins on their face. And we know because every dog has his day, and this is our day. I'm talking about Holly. I'm in my own world. I want to just go home. I can't believe our kids didn't win. Kathy's group did not deserve to beat us. We've never, ever, ever, ever in our lives got 10th place. Kathy's dream came true today. Finally, they can say we beat them. And they'll leave us alone. I think the last time we didn't place was electricity. Uh, amen. Shocker, the group number came in 10th. Neither one of them are dancing to their potential. My kids have not danced to their potential all year long. Is yes. this me? Oh, yeah. Yeah. How are you guys? Hey, congratulations. congratulations. In all sincerity, we just wanted to congratulate you on 10th place. Thank you. We're proud of ourselves. Thank you. And congratulations you. on one point better. We saw. You are Satan. Bye. My entire reputation of this humiliated. Hello? Hi, is this Christy? Yes, it is. This is Davis Robertson from the Joffrey Ballet School. How are you doing? I'm well. How are you? I want to take the time to call you personally and let you know that uh, we want to offer Chloe a scholarship for the summer. She was at the top of our list. Oh, thank uh, in, you. In oh, my gosh, that's amazing. Thank you. I think Chloe is excited to have that opportunity, but I really think that Chloe is trying hard not to show it because the other little girls in the room wanted that as well, and she didn't want to hurt anybody else's feelings. Under our direction, uh, I really do believe that she has uh, got the potential to be just a beautiful ballerina, oh. and uh, we would like to assist in making that happen. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. You are very welcome. It's hard when your child doesn't get something that they want, but that's also part of a dancer's life. It's tough. We'll be seeing you soon. Sure, take care. All right, take care. You're being a brat. Joni, no, walk away from me. Please, uh, I want to organize. Get back here right now. Get back there. Now, get back here. Madison, get back here. Your phone is going away. 
I feel really upset that Chloe got a call from the Drawfrey Ballet School. I think I kind of deserve Stop to be it. on top. Stop it. Guess what? Five days. Ten days now. No. Ten days, Maddie can't have her phone. I know exactly how that little girl was feeling, and I know that she wants the Strawfrey Scholarship as much as anyone else, and I know she's thinking, my shot's out the window, it's all Chloe. Even though these girls are such good friends, they are really, really fierce competitors. Maddie? Stop. Maddie, come here. I have to tell you something now. One more, if you don't come back here in five seconds, it's gonna be 15 days. Maddie is really stressed out because she was disappointed, but I won't put up with a brownie kid. She just needs to reach deep and down inside and just, you know, be thankful for what she has and don't, you just can't worry what other people think of you. Can you go from the top, Kendall, so I can take a little peek at it? My Same. thought is maybe you might want to put that costume on because you're feeling that it's a little constricting and try doing the dance in it. I love the solo Queen of Hearts that Kendall's going to be doing. It has a lot of style to it. It has a lot of technique. It has some turns, some leaps, and I think she can really do well with it. All right, so let's see it. Oh, my. Push. Push. Gr grunting. Okay. Oh, <laughs> but harder. Yes, you okay, can. Don't, don't, don't do don't, this. Don't, of don't, course you can. Don't cry about it. You're going to get your makeup on this. You know You're going to get all worked up, and it's not, it is totally not worth it. I couldn't really move in the costume because they didn't really fit me in it. They just sent it to me. So I really couldn't, I couldn't do anything. So I was a little nervous about that. I wasn't prepared. Oh, honey, you're prepared. That's, shh, you're prepared. You just went through the whole entire dance. You're totally prepared. There's no reason to cry, okay? There's absolutely no reason to cry. The dance is fine. It is what it is. It's about the apples being your buddies. What, honey? I know, the costume. You're just going to have to deal Two with minutes, it, Kendall. Lovey. You're just going to have to deal with it, okay? Okay, sidebar from the restroom to the stage. Yes. It was like five, ten minutes. Oh my god. Chloe has a 17 piece costume that I have to pin. They're at the end of their category though, so I don't know if we can hold it. There's no way Chloe's gonna be ready. Abby? I can't physically do it. Abby barks and barks and barks and barks and barks at us that we need to be prepared. You need to give us enough time to be prepared. Watch that hyperextended elbow right there on that first movement. You're cleaning the floor, Maddie. We had literally 15 minutes to do hair and makeup and practice before our kids were thrown on stage. And I'm really getting sick and tired of it. Stay right here. Don't, 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 don't. You just keep doing what you're doing. Oh, you look so pretty. Okay, don't panic. Don't panic. Judges, eye contact, suck them in right off the bat. comes out and she's the queen of hearts. Kathy, we've been down this road before. Stop copying my daughter. I think that if Kendall is going to compete against Chloe, she has got to do better than her best. And I know what it takes for us to one-up her. So what we've worked out is totally going to steal her thunder. audience with all the candy apple moms supporting me and Kendall. I just love this. I just love watching Kendall dance. And all of this drama and heartache and heartbreak, it's worth it when I see my child on stage do what she just did. Kathy is up to her underhanded tricks again, thinking it's going to get her ahead in the competition. Off with her head. 
focus. Represent. The pressure I'm feeling this week is because I'm their national winner, so and I don't want to let Miss Abby down. Number 890, open, ages 9 to 10, in my heart. She doesn't care that she's gonna burn the kid out. It's not fair. They just threw you out there. Shh. 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 Abby's it's gonna eat me. Shh. She is not. Baby, look at me. She's gonna eat me. I've no, never done this. I've never done this. I was backstage running my number, and all of a sudden I hear the music dying down, and then I hear footsteps coming from the stage, and then I heard Maddie say that she forgot her dance. I'm a little bit nervous from my soul and all that, like from all the chaos backstage. <sighs> all I can do is cross my fingers. Sitting in the audience, I'm looking at Abby, and she's sitting over there crying hysterically. I thought you were supposed to save those tears for your pillow, Ab. Let me think. Mia forgot her solo, Abby didn't cry. Paige forgot her solo, Abby didn't cry. Chloe forgot her solo, Abby didn't cry. Maddie forgets her solo, it's waterworks. Abby only cares about one person, and this is a blatant display of that. Tell her how it feels, Chloe, you did it too. And I just feel so bad, because I know exactly how it feels. We've all done it by now. Nobody's perfect. Maddie, honey, you're so hard on yourself. You have to stop this, okay? Dance isn't that important, Maddie. Yes, it is. But it's not your whole life. Well, it is your whole life, and it shouldn't be. This is way too much pressure. It's really hard when your daughter's crying, saying she's a failure, and she's nine years old. You're not a failure when you're nine years old. Not at all. And she kept saying, Abby's going to hate me. She's going to hate me. And it really breaks your heart. Abby's not going to hate you, Maddie. But I didn't even hear them announce my daughter. No, that doesn't matter. But I'm just saying. Just I, I, I mean, but we, I don't want to make excuses. Every kid forgets no. their dance. That's not the deal. I think you hate her. Sorry. Aw, see, she thinks you hate her. See, I told you she doesn't hate you. Maddie, it's not your fault, honey. You were such a fabulous kid. 
See, Emmy loves you, Maddie Kay. She knows what a kid you are. You know what? Those kids that have perfect runs and win everything with their kids, where are they now? They don't even dance anymore. The kids that still have something to shoot for and something to win, they're the ones that are working. She screwed up just like everybody else. But you know what? Maybe they won't all be vultures and be after her all the time now. Girls, uh-uh, uh-uh. We're not going to play that game. You can see her and talk to her later. We're not going to play that game. We're not playing the game. I'm not playing the game either. But I also know that my child ran off the stage. I didn't see any tears from you, Abby, when my kid ran off the stage, OK? So point noted. It's a horrific. Care. I don't care. I know you don't care. And that's my point. It's not that incredibly cruel that there is a teacher who's sitting there having a pity party for herself because her student forgot a dance on stage. And other students, every other kid in that room has had that same experience. They all could have used a dance teacher who cared about them. Awards. I'll take you down. Got to be supportive of your friend, so. Any child being on stage and forgetting their dance is a, it's humiliating. And it's happened to all of and us. And it's happened to everyone. But there, she even said to Maddie, she they said all she didn't care for a reason. And she didn't want any excuses. She could care less. Yeah, but there was not me. a tear shed for another child in this company. That's my issue. These are children. And you cry for whatever reason for one child and not the other. They all hurt the same. And, and the kids know. The kids it know. It was so obvious and transparent. I've tried to deny that for many years and give Abby excuses. So I'm saying that's just the way she teaches. That's just the way she is. But today it was like black and white. No, it's not. It's not the way she teaches for all. There's a double standard. It's a different system. It is not equal. Why don't you care that all the other kids forgot their dances, but you care for Maddie? My kids have been with you since they were two. I've been with you for 30 years, and you didn't care that Paige came off the stage and forgot her dance. She told Maddie she didn't care she forgot her dance either. She sat there and cried. Abby, for once, was speechless because she knew she was wrong. For once, someone called her on something, and she had nothing to say. Moms, it's awards. Thank you. Thank you. We're ready to go. was a star out there on that stage. She did on that stage exactly what we came here to do. She shined. Chloe was amazing as the Red Queen. Regal, evil, and it was technically good. Chloe deserves to win. Seventh place. Please give it up for Queen of Hearts. Kendall, come on up. Yeah, I was surprised. It's difficult to compete against Abby. I would love to have seen her in the top five, but that's okay, we'll get them next time. Here come the official top three soloists. Give it up for 307 if my friends can see me now. In second place, 793 wants you back, Julia. And gentlemen, our top junior soloists that I got first overall solo. I mean, I haven't really won first in a while, so it feels really good. Who choreographs for you? Miss Abby Lee Miller. Given that Chloe is at the bottom of the pyramid this week for forgetting her number, I am so proud of her that she won. And Abby's nowhere to be seen. <laughs> Where do I go? Oh. How come you didn't come to awards? Chloe's your dancer. You should have been there to support her. I think one of the things you always tell them is that save it for your pillow in your hotel room or your bedroom. And you should model that behavior for them and sat in the front row, 
Put your game face on. Come back paddle up. me. Let's just get it over with quicker. Please, that's a visual I do not want to paddle, see. Paddle, you know? take the I'll, I'll give you my tongue lashing, because shame on you. That's what you give the girls. I have nothing to say to these moms right now. And I don't care if I hurt their feelings. They're grown adults. They can handle it. If they want their kids to be nurtured and coddled, they need to take them back to nursery school. You always say, like, you know, act professional, act professional, you know, grow up. This isn't really professional model behavior. I could not just sit there and say nothing after all my childhood experience, and as well as many of those other kids. It's not right. It just is not right. Hi. Hello. Congratulations. You should be proud Good of yourself. Good job, Chloe. here is proud of you. Thank you. Yeah, Chloe. you should be proud of yourself. Abby didn't say, Chloe, you were fabulous. She didn't say, like, oh, Chloe, you know, way to go. That was amazing. Nothing. It was all about Maddie. It's amazing to me. It's amazing. But there's no favoritism. Not at all. All right, guys, see you on the flip side. So Abby says very cryptically, see you on the other side, and leaves the door. Like, what's going on? And the only one in the room who doesn't seem confused is Melissa. She's going home. What do you mean she's going home? She's leaving right now. Did she really leave? This can't be real. I lost a lot of respect for Abby. I really did. Hi. I got your room for one more minute. It's just funny how all of a sudden, when things don't go Abby's way, she's running home. I think it's ridiculous you're leaving because you're embarrassed about the way you act earlier today. Yeah, Where are you, you going? Do. I'm going to go to the hotel, get my stuff going right to the airport. I need a break. I need a break from these moms, a break from these kids, a break from the yelling. What do you want us to tell the kids? Your kids are fine. They're great. They have been trained even as young as seven years old. They know what to do and they're fine without me. I have known Abby for a long time, and I have never seen her like this. I'm shocked. Do you remember the day that Abby made you bring in those crowns? Sometimes Miss Abby makes me a little embarrassed when I have to show off in front of the other kids because, you know, it's nice that she's, you know, having everyone want to be like me, but it's also kind of sad because yeah, I don't want my friends to get mad at me. I need you to get your crowns and get them on that table. This is a piece of metal and two combs and some rhinestones. This does not make you a winner. Oh, I remember this. What was she saying? How many crowns have you won? Oh. Right, this but is let, the best. Let me bring these and rub them in your face. Exactly. Starbound. Ooh, that's pretty. Energy. And Maddie still wins just because she has better choreography, and Abby makes sure of that. Every week, she makes sure that Maddie has the best choreography out of this group. And you can sit here and get mad at me, but you know it's true. There's no question. TEA. Oh, running out of room. I didn't want to show all the crowns to the girls, but I followed the rules and I did it. But then the moms kind of got mad, and I didn't like that at all. But Melissa, why would you bring them? She told me to. And well, they when she tells you to bring them, say, no, my daughter's uncomfortable she is doing uncomfortable. this in front of her friend. Girls, I just want to tell you, I don't want you to think that Maddie's doing this to make you feel bad. Maddie was instructed to do this, and I see your faces, and I feel really bad. I'm sick of hearing it. And you are taking her successes, and you're squashing them down. She has a right to jump up and scream and yell and be excited. It's ridiculous. We, she never gets excited. I'm, you know, we squash every victory because you know, we don't want people to hate her, just people to hate me. I'm following the rules, and I wasn't breaking the rules at all. I told, I did what, exactly what my teacher told me to do. And yeah, I was sad that I had to show off my crowns. You could tell by the clip that I was sad and I didn't want to, you know, you bring never... it in. But I'm not going to disrespect my teacher. I didn't want my friends to get mad at me because my friends are so important to me. And I, I don't want to be the kid who Everyone's like, oh my God, she's a brat. She's always mm -hmm. winning and she's stuck up and all this stuff. I want to be the kid who's, you know, caring and everyone really likes for who I am. Maddie, obviously that was a very awkward moment for you, but do you understand that Abby just wanted you to be proud of all that you've achieved? Sometimes I don't always agree with Abby's methods, but I do owe her so much because, I mean, look where I am now. She's helped me with a lot.
Holly is busy. She'll be here. Well, we went to Starbound. We proved that you are national champions once again. Your top overall junior group. All kids go. It's much, much, much more fun to win, ladies. All right, now, let's talk about this week. We are headed. Hi, everyone. Abby, can I talk to you? Jill, you know what, I'm some right in the middle of the pyramid. You know how this works. I do know how it works. I made a mistake going to Candy Apples. You guys know that. Are you practicing it, your job? It was a mistake. And I would really like for you to find a spot for Kendall on this team like you did once before. Jill, I, I don't have time for this today. I understand I have that. Solos, I have a group. We have a competition this weekend. I want to be there with you. I, I think that Kendall can fit right Kendall. in this group. She did it once before. She can do it again. I guess Candy Apples just didn't give Jill what she wanted. You know, a starring role in every number, a featured spot, a special part. So here she is, hop, 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 hopping, right back to the Abby Lee Dance Company. You are off your rocker. All I want is what's best for Kendall. Hey, I wanted what was best for Kendall, and you didn't give me time to do that. I know I made a you mistake. The reason I did this. And go home right now. Is that, would that make you guys all really happy? No, that would not make me happy. Are you gonna turn my child away knowing she's got talent and she belongs in this group? I'm in the middle of a rehearsal. Right, you know what, rehearse. I cannot I'm believe not, this. I'm not gonna I am literally anything. speechless. Jill came in with a hot new hairdo and a whole new wardrobe, but it's still the same old Jill. You know what, Abby? Here, you hold your picture. She deserves to be on that pyramid. Who walks into pyramid right in the middle and just shoves their kid in there? I think it's totally desperate. This is not about friends. You want to see Kendall? Invite her to your house. This is my business. Can you find it in your heart to allow Kendall Jill, to be a part Jill, of this team? I will be glad to talk to you at a later date. OK. I am furious with Jill. How she thinks she's going to walk back in here and get this kid back on the team, but it's not this girl's fault. She's a great dancer. Let her rehearse, stick her on the end. It's not a big deal. Now, we're going to Star Power in Lancaster. Not very far, but a big competition. Lots of people from New Jersey and the New York area will be in attendance. It's a really big deal. They entered 50, 60 numbers. We're going with one group. Moving on to the pyramid. On the bottom of the pyramid, Mackenzie. When things are done in a contagion, and you do it first, and then Paige, and then Nia, when you do it so fast, you make Paige and Nia look like they're off, like they're the ones that are wrong. Next, Nia. The aerial walkover got you into trouble. Don't let it happen again. You need to slow down. Paige, you really didn't do anything wrong, but you're part of the trio, so you have to take responsibility for it. Chloe. Chloe, it was good, but you get into those categories with 11 and 12-year-olds, and you never get up there where I think you belong. Next, I have Brooke. Brooke. You did a great job. Your technique was clean from where I was sitting. I thought your facial expressions were wonderful. I thought you were outstanding. And on top of the pyramid, Maddie, you went out there at 9 to 12, and you won at 9 years old. Maddie wins all the time. And it's not that we're jealous of Maddie's victories. I would never rub Chloe's victories in anyone else's faces. If anything, I try to downplay any kind of success Chloe has because you don't want to create any kind of animosity and tension between these girls. Maddie, you will be doing a solo this week entitled, I Can't Find the Words. Paige, you also have a solo this weekend. <laughs> Your music is entitled Creme de la Creme. Paige is getting a solo this week, and I'm very excited because I thought after I changed her last solo that it would be a while before Paige got another one. Mia, you have a solo this weekend. <laughs> The music is entitled Working Girl by Laquifa. I would like to see Nia move back up the pyramid, and this Laquifa number has Nia written all over it. Ladies, we will be performing a group routine about a vampire. So I will be bringing a boy. 
think boys are icky. Icky, 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 icky. <laughs> so moms, you are dismissed. We have a lot of work to do. Hey, Nick. Come on in. When you do partner work, it's very important that you're comfortable with your partner, that you trust. That makes Nick's job a whole lot easier. These girls trust him. Nick, you know why you're here? Huh? To lift. All right, with five, six, run, Maddie, you're going this way. I'm so excited that Nick's in our group dance and he's playing the vampire and we're in a trance and everybody's telling us he's bad, don't like him, but we can't help it. I'm laughing at my hair. I love your hair. I, I actually yeah. think that you I look think it looks really cute. young. When you first walked in the door, I'm like, oh my god, is that Kathy? And I'm Ew. sorry. <laughs> I might you know have she's got this girlfriend. I know, but she wouldn't let me put her picture on the pyramid. I... As she should. Ah! I'm just saying. I thought she'd be like, yeah, put her at the really? bottom. Did you seriously think that walking in the door and saying to Abby, put her in the group would work out in your favor? Because that's unexpected to me. She wouldn't talk to me. I said, we, can we can we talk? What's there to talk about? She's dancing. Jill keeps saying that she wants Kendall to have an opportunity. Kendall did have an opportunity. She auditioned for our company. She made it. And Jill blew her top and left. Top ball, changely, sod Russian. I need time to think about this. Jill took Kendall to another studio. My arch rival in Ohio, big mistake. Now she thinks, I'm just gonna show up. She's gonna put us back on the team. Wrong. I I'm hoping that you can understand. I do understand because Why I, I left, I couldn't tolerate But I have no. to tell you, when I saw your daughter do her solo a couple weeks ago, I was so disappointed in the choreography. No. Jill is back for five minutes and already Melissa is best friends with her again. I don't think there's anything honest about Jill. Now she even lies about her hair color. Not that I ever would. You know what, Kendall? Time has come. You're finished for the night. I have a lot of thinking to do. Understood? Oh, no. Well, she's not crying. I don't have time to deal with Jill. I have to worry about this group number. It's an amazing number. I intend to win at Star Power. One, two. Give me a little, like, a half a head roll, like a... Creme de la creme is real dancing. There's no cutesy stuff. It is full on difficult. I don't want any other mommyography in my numbers. Paige needs to learn to do what she was given. Tilt, pitch. Abby, can we talk now? Well, I'm right in the middle of Paige's I know private. how busy you are. Wait, 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 wait. Jill, stand right over there. I'm gonna let her do it again and I will dismiss her and I can talk to you. Come on, Paige. Paige finally got a solo and a proper rehearsal, and Jill comes busting in the room during her private. It's ridiculous. I don't know how Kathy does it, but we keep working, 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 working. And, and that's what I want for my kid, and I need to know, Abby, are you gonna let Kendall come back in this group? Well, you didn't sign anything. You didn't tell anybody you were here. I think coming into the room was really inappropriate. I, I didn't have any choice, and I thought you would understand that. I don't want to invest my energy into your kid to have it walk out the door in six months because mommy's not happy. Joe has a whole lot of groveling to do and a whole lot of paperwork to sign before this kid is back on any team at the Abby Lee Dance Company. Hey, let's go, Paige. Smaller steps. Woo One, two, three. Woo Ready? The working girl number for Nia is kind of about her mother, Dr. Holly. We all know that she is the original working girl. You know, no one ever had a job and raised any kids before her. You're making the ball. No. Oh, Nia! I keep talking about stepping out on that stage, doing the walk, and it's that entrance. Right, left, right ball change. Hello. Like Holly, what's been going on? You are never going to believe who uh, came into Pyramid today. I'll yes. give you three guesses. Jill? Yes! What's she doing to Pyramid? And she had her 900 voice That's on. what I said. But wait, no, oh. even better? She got Kelly's haircut, and it's blonde. My color. <laughs> oh, my God. 
truth be told, I didn't like last year's La Crifa dance. It was not a signature dance that I was really proud of Mia performing. And Mia didn't do well with it last year. And you're stepping and finishing the turn, and you're really running in and finishing the turn. Yeah. Hello? Hi, my name is Carol, and I'm the casting director for Drop Dead Diva. The girls auditioned for a role on Drop Dead Diva. I've been anxiously awaiting this call. Hi, how are you? Just wanted to let you know that after watching all of the auditions, we have decided that we are going to go with... Something's going on. No, they just said Maddie got dropped at Diva. How do you know? Because the kids just told me. Oh. All right, super. Thank you so much. And isn't it funny how they wanted a blonde, and she's the only one that auditioned that wasn't a blonde? And isn't it funny? But I'm pretty sure that Maddie had that part before she even auditioned for it. Thank you. Have a good day. I'll talk to you later. OK. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. other girls know that it's not a level playing field, so it's no big surprise when Maddie gets chosen for parts. I think the girls are used to it, but they shouldn't have to be. I know how things like this work, and it's political, and a minority has someone's name on it. I don't even know why they have our kids audition real. for things. Because it's real. It's a real well, part. So it's... We just auditioned for the show because Maddie was slated for that part before she ever opened her mouth. I always said that that role had someone's name on it, and in my mind, that child was Maddie. Go tell your mom you got the job. The part goes to Maddie. Is Maddie the best? Who knows? It's not about being the best. It's about being right for the part. Good job, honey. Yeah. So proud of you. Congratulations. Excited? It's not fair to Maddie. When she gets a job, I want her to be excited. If any of the other girls got it, all the moms would be jumping and screaming and hipping and hollering, but when it's my daughter, they get jealous. Honey, I'm excited for you. Thank you. I'm sure all of your team members are excited, too, for you. When Miss Abby announced that I got the part, I was just smiling, and I tried to stay as humble as I could because I didn't want to have my other friends feel bad. I'm well, proud of you, honey. Go back into class. Good job. Congratulations. I just wish that things were fair and even. Abby absolutely 100% made sure that Maddie was going to get that role come hell or high water. Whoa, I see some bad feet sitting right there. Stop with the hair. It keeps on falling out. Why? Because you have too much hair. Posture. You say Go. You've lost your faith. There's nothing more. Fighter! I need to put my best foot forward at Star Power. I'm gonna pull out a winning number. It's about a vampire and little girls that are dreaming of Mr. Right. The number is really cool. Let him bite you. It's okay if you're late. Boom! He's really holding on to that arm. Girls, just make sure you're over there. Abby, I'm gonna send her in rehearsal. I wasn't sure what time it was. So she's here. Go ahead, baby. Oh, she's shoving oh. her in again. Look at her. Oh, there's Jill. She I looks know. like a different person. That's she's in the witness protection program. She's trying to escape Kathy. I think I like it the other color better. Jill, when I left here last night, I had two more meetings. You're the one who said this is where okay, she you belongs. Know what? You, you're interrupting rehearsal. I told you last night it's inappropriate. I don't do it to you. I want you out the door. Go. It's ridiculous. You need some control over your mother. Yes? I am much more concerned with the choreography in this routine than I am with Jill and Kendall. I need to get back into rehearsal and make sure that this routine is ready to go to star power. Why is she screaming? I didn't know what time rehearsal was. And what did she say? She said, get out of here. To you? Mm -hmm. She's the one that made you quit to begin with. Your mother's actions throwing a shoe in Texas is why she pulled you out of the studio. Despite Abby's behavior, 
I still want Kendall on this team. I want her to have these opportunities and to dance every week at these competitions. You didn't want to leave. Now you just want to waltz right back in. Kendall, it doesn't work like that. Abby has made it very clear that she likes Kendall. Yet she doesn't like Jill. I'm thinking maybe Abby will let Kendall back on the team just to piss Kathy off, just because she hates Candy Apple so much. Try to pick it up. Get in line. This is ridiculous. Get out of the way, Kendall! We're still rehearsing the routine with Nick and six girls. Mackenzie was not appropriate for this, certainly. So I let her go. Take your belly out of here. Go to tap. But I have Kendall, who I'm trying to ignore, but I can't ignore. And then I also have Paige and Nia, who are a beat behind, especially Nia. I'm going to cut some people. What do you think, Jenna? I think I would do it smaller. Smaller? I just feel like Nick's part is getting lost because there's so much chaos going on. I need to cut this routine down to three girls and a boy. I'm going to watch each girl in rehearsal and then make my final decision at the competition. Hey, Nia, I'm really on the border with you. I want you to concentrate on your solo. Yes, and you have to do something with that hair. It's not appropriate. Every time I look at you, it's like fun. It's routine that they don't get picked for necessarily for a trio or a duet. But now, there's a possibility that they will not be picked for group numbers. You gotta be kidding me. Paige, I, I know you're a really nice little girl. You're teaching Kendall the number. What happens if I put her in instead of you? Are you gonna feel bad? What if she ends up doing it better than you? Just saying. I'm just saying. Back of that knee. We finish? We're good? You think that's it? Okay. I've called everybody together to discuss the drop dead diva part. These mothers go on and on about role models. Well, I'll tell you what, not being happy for someone else's success, that's the worst role model you could be. I wanted to talk a little bit about yesterday, the role for drop dead diva. I don't know if everybody was truly happy that. Maddie got the role. It could have been any one of the kids that auditioned for it. We all congratulated Maddie. I think that the more yeah, the sure girls girl. all con congratulated Maddie. I don't know what else you want us to do. Irony of ironies. Abby wants to reprimand all of us for not being happy enough for Maddie getting the role on Drop Dead Diva. I wanted to look at her and say, really, Ab? Because you didn't seem very happy when Chloe got, I don't know, the music video, the Joffrey audition, or first place when, you know, you ran out of the room crying because you were mortified. Well, Melissa told me that you said it was rigged. I'm entitled to my opinion because I'm 42 years old and I'm a free American citizen, so I get to say whatever I want and believe whatever I want. I stand on my credentials and my knowledge. That's fine. something you can never take away. Then fix this hair, because it's horrible. And why don't you fix your hair and fix your face and your body and everything else. And That's right? fine. When I join your dance company, I'll do Let's it. Let's start critiquing people. Let's start with you. Look in the mirror. Holly had to go after me, you know, go for the jugular. Look in the mirror, fix your own body, fix your own hair. Holly, let's start. Get a padded bra. Don't wear dresses. What else do you want me to tell you, huh? And you know what? I got approval for those braids, and I got them put in. Not in from my dance company, didn't it? Yes, says I right did. In. Yes, do I not did. change your hair. And oh. you know what? I did get approval for it, and this is part of her ethnicity. Well, it's weighing her down. It's Ethnic weighing dancers. her down. There are four Which other people when you here made the the last three weeks, Holly. It's like a log coming out of the side That's of her And on all this, Nia, the lunge, the arch, all of that stuff is late and sloppy. Your mother thinks you're early. You're not. Enough is enough. If you want to fix someone up and if you're such like a miss fix it, fix yourself. Look in the mirror. Start with the woman in the mirror and leave my kid alone. Ankle flat back, side and up, and then reverse it. Just four each. Five, six, seven, eight. We're two days away from the competition, and I've there? got my hands full. I have the solo rehearsals, and I still haven't decided who is going to be in the group number and who isn't. Contestant number blank entered in the title division. This week, I have a lyrical solo called I Can't Find the Words, and I'm very excited for it because I have to write a love note. But I know over here, there's some slamming, angry, boom, you know, 
back to da, 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 that she'd be angry and mad and frustrated. And it's basically just saying that she loves someone, but she doesn't know how to find the words to write it down. So it's a really beautiful number. I need to see that big beaming smile. The same big smile I need to see if you win. Beaming, happy. I don't want Maddie to be affected by all this drop dead diva drama. Get you to make this bigger. The truth is, just bigger. Yes, thank you. Jealousy and success go hand in hand. Maddie needs to get used to it because she's going to be successful. I need the girls to come in. I need everybody to come in, but I need you to get your crowns and get them on that table. I even had to bring her crowns in because I want her to realize that this is something to be proud of. It's a huge accomplishment and Star Power is proud of her. She is a little star right now. She's the winner. Own it. Be proud. Rub it in their faces if you have to. This is a piece of metal and two combs and some rhinestones. This does not make you a winner. What was she saying? How many crowns have you won? Oh. Right, this but is let, the best. Let me bring these and rub them in your face. Exactly. These are recent. This is Petite Mustiance. That was a toughie. But once again, you can't win a crown if you're never sent to go. Starbound. Ooh, that's pretty. Energy. And Maddie still wins just because she has better choreography, and Abby makes sure of that. Every week, she makes sure that Maddie has the best choreography out of this group. And you can sit here and get mad at me, but you know it's true. There's no question. DEA, oh, running out of room. I didn't want to show all the crowns to the girls, but I followed the rules and I did it. But then the moms kind of got mad and I didn't like that at all. But Melissa, why would you bring them? She told me to. Well, and they when called she me to bring them, say, no, my daughter's uncomfortable she is doing uncomfortable. this in front of her friend. Your kid is uncomfortable. But you're getting them out now, Melissa. They already did it. I'm not getting them out. Are you going to tattle on us? <sighs> yeah, I'm going to go tattle on you. Mm, I, I wouldn't be surprised. You need to get these set up so that you put a sticker on the back of these. Girls, I just want to tell you, I don't want you to think that Maddie's doing this to make you feel bad. Ad Maddie was instructed to do this, and I see your faces, and I feel really bad. I'm sick of hearing it. And you are taking her successes, and you're squashing them down. She has a right to jump up and scream and yell and be excited. It's ridiculous. If you want a crown, work for it. What happened, Melissa? What did she say to you? We, she never gets excited. I'm, you know, we squash every victory because, you know, we don't want people to hate her. This people to hate me. We tell Abby, kiss my ass. I'm not bringing them in. It's rude. We deal with it every I week. Know. We realize that our it kids is. aren't stupid. They realize it. All right, are we ready? We're going to run it with everybody together. We arrive at Star Power in Lancaster. The competition is huge. Tons of numbers, tons of studios, tons of talent. I think I've made my decision about the group dance casting, but I'm going to keep that my own little secret. What's wrong? My stomach hurts. Why are you always crying? Your stomach hurts. Let's get you some medicine. Don't cry about it. Jill is just desperate. You know, I don't get the whole I made a mistake, I want to come back thing. No, Jill. Kendall's not on the team. Jill, what is wrong with her? I'm sorry, I really don't know. Maybe she's like, why am I here if I'm not in the dance? Well, maybe. We don't know if some of the real team members are even at the dance at this point. Why would Kendall be in it? Why wouldn't they all be in it? Because it's my routine, and I happen to like it a certain way, and that's it. You can't respect that, that she wants to be here and she oh, no, wants I to do. dance. no, I do, I do respect well, then that. then let her dance, Abby. Abby wants to teach Kendall and I a lesson, that we have to earn our spot back. Kendall still has all that fire in her belly and all that potential, and I need Abby to see that again. You're here as a guest, so I don't need some whining, crying kid. Yes? Man up. Can you work on some of this with the case in your hand? I'm a little worried about the case. Clock that case looks good, Holly. Nia, I mean, you did it. Your <laughs> ah, 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 ah. I just corrected that. Aww, Stop. Mia. Stop. Mia is practicing her solo, and all of a sudden, I see out of the corner of my eye, she just stops and she freezes. And I'm like, oh, no. What, what, what's wrong? 
I forgot my number. I'm like, no. Just Maybe because the music's not on. <laughs> no, that is not true. Get that out of your head. You know the dance. You did the dance several times. Suck it up. Put your game face on. You know the dance. Good mom. Don't coddle. Take a deep breath. Take a breath. When Miss Abby is rehearsing my solo in the dressing room, I got freaked out because I almost forgot a part. I really want to be in the group dance, but if I mess up my solo, I am not going to be in the group dance. Ladies and gentlemen, how about a nice Lancaster welcome for working girl, Nia. Sitting in the audience. I know Nia just forgot the dance, and I'm a basket case. scared. She came out with a bang, and she never let up till the death drop. <laughs> My child got a standing ovation. That never happens at a dance competition. I am a proud mama. Judges, your next act's going to be entry number 138. Please help me welcome to the Star Power stage, Manny, performing I Can't Find the Words. I made in her private lesson. She remembered her number. It was good. She hit everything. If she wants a private from now on, I'm going to give them to her. Mia, Maddie, and I are all competing against each other, and I wish we weren't, because we're all good friends. And now, ladies and gentlemen, in one of our toughest 9 to 11 categories we've seen in a long time, here's our top 10 power division. 
Mia De La Quifa, the judges didn't care for her so much. But she's maturing, and that bundle of energy was there. Ninth place regional champion, and the fiercest attitude special award goes to Nia, number 109. Although this week was filled with anxiety and turmoil with the group dance, the solo performance for Nia was a high point of my Ivy Lee dance experience. I'm so proud of my little girl. Sixth place, regional champion. Page number 139A. This competition was very difficult. Even to place in the top 10 was an accomplishment. This is amazing. Only three tenths of a point separated first from second. I'm really happy with my solo performance, but the competition's really hard, and I hope it was good enough. And now, ladies and gentlemen, by only three tenths of a point, your highest scoring 9 to 11 soloist here in Lancaster, Pennsylvania will be. The high score, top 10. She was it, she won it again. Way to go, congratulations. Name your studio. Abby Lee Dance Company. I wanted every single one of my solo entries to place in the top 10, and they did. <laughs> congratulations. Top 10, good job. Can I have a bow or no? We're not doing that yet. No, 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 no. In fact, Kendall, who gave you the bow in your hair? The girls are going to be wearing white bows in their hair for this group routine, but I haven't told anybody who's in the group routine yet. So why on earth does Kendall have a white bow in her hair and nobody else does? Jill, who gave you that bow? A junior Miss Star Power contestant. 114 will be next judge is number 114. Kendall, who gave you the bow in your hair? Kids should not go and take things that don't belong she to them. She didn't take it. Melissa said, here are bows for everybody. I picked one up and I put it in her hair. Okay, well, newsflash. Melissa doesn't own the studio. You have to accuse me of stealing a $2 bow? Are you kidding? She just grabbed it and stuck it in her kid's head thinking, my kid's gonna get a bow because my kid's doing this group dance. You talk about manners with the kids all the time. Wait a minute. That is rude Wait of you to say in front of my child that I would steal a bow. Every single one of these kids has their hair done and nobody has a bow in their head. I don't steal from anybody and not one of those moms stands up for me again. You wasted a whole lot of my time I don't have time for it. I've had enough of Jill's nonsense distracting me from my real focus. This routine is important to me because I want to win at Star Power. Let's see Paige, Brooke, and Nick. Let's go. I want to see your standing back tuck. Oh, easy. Oh, I'll do mine too. Ready? No, do not do your standing back. Can I try it, Sabby? No, this is cement underneath this carpeting. Paige, Paige, can you not do it? Well then, do it! Let's go! I want to eat my lunch! You better do it! Paige hurts her foot. I just can't win. Can you curl your toes? Did you come down on it this way or digging it? Digging. Digging it. Paige is really upset about her foot. I'm surprised she's not crying. Okay, well, don't tape her. You're not in the dance. You gotta get the foot checked. Paige could have been in that group, but you know what? I can't risk her injuring herself any further. All right, we have Paige out by default with an injury. It's my hope that if Paige can't dance with these kids, Abby's gonna need Kendall. Nia, you are not in the number today. Don't make a big deal out of it. You did a great job in your solo. I couldn't be prouder. Kendall, you are not in the dance. Abby, I'm just curious. Do you do you enjoy watching this right here? Does that make you happy? Jill, if anybody should dance, it should be Nia. This is between us. We have had a wonderful day. I hope you're really happy, Abby. I think Jill is from the me, myself, and I generation. She is only concerned with herself. All right, let me see. Brooke, Chloe, Maddie, and Nick. Frantic, frantic. I have a boy and three girls. I got my routine. You need to look comfortable with him. 
Some of it still looks awkward. We're going to go back to entry number 241, Power Division Contemporary, age 9 to 11. Please help me welcome to the Star Power stage number 241. <laughs> There's nothing more to live for I reach out to touch your face Cause I think Nick is the pinnacle of this dance. I think he adds so much dimension and character as each one he partnered, he showcased them. And that's what a good partner does. It showcases the girl. chance of winning. It was a great performance. I made the right decision with one boy and three girls. 9-11 small group, third place. Hey You, Studio Blue, 251. Second place, Prayer of the Children, 263 from Studio Blue. And now in our 9-11 small group, your top score, the champion today will be Congratulations, girls and guy. Our group dance, once again, number one. What's the name of your studio, guy? Abby Lee Dance Company. Top 10, take them out. Let's hear it for the top 10. We did it. I couldn't be more grateful. I think all of our victories were really earned and very well deserved. Congratulations. Once again, I think I proved I was right. Jill, nothing to say? No last remarks? Not really. Bottom line, Abby's dancers won. And that is exactly why I need my daughter to be at Abby Lee Miller's dance company. You stick a bow in your kid's hair and think they're gonna go on stage and be in a competition number? It's not why I put the bow in her hair. It's Abby. just not that easy. I know what I'm doing. When the time is right. Well, how about then you let me know. I won't be back until you let me know when the time is right. I told you before that I would think about it. Did you shush me? Yes, I did. When the time is right for you, if we're still available, you contact me and you say, okay, I would like for Kendall to be No, I don't to call students. I don't okay, solicit then, students. I don't, then what do you want? Abby knew all along that she was not going to allow Kendall to dance in that group number. I realized that Abby is a punisher and she punished Kendall and I. What you say goes, you don't care about the kids. You don't care about anybody but yourself. That's terrible. Why would I be in this business if I didn't care about their futures? Well, then why don't you You're care the about one that screwed her up. If you think that you I know own what? a dance I really studio, want you to be quiet. I don't care what you think. You know what? Who do you think you are? Who do you think you are hurting a little child? You people all suck. Every one of you. You're being insane. I'm insane. Melissa's the only one who ever comes to her aid. What is oh, wrong with you so people? Nice. They have learned from Abby, the biggest bully in the block, and now they're bullying too. This it's gonna cost me a lot of money in therapy. This is not Because she's worth there, it. she's mortified. She's humiliated. I think Jill is having a midlife crisis. Kendall should come to class. She it did. starts in class, Jill. Abby's acting like a total immature baby. And I'm not gonna let this happen again to my child and I. She's just sick. I can't believe I'm sitting here and that woman walked out again. So in season three, Maddie, your relationship with Abby became a little bit rocky. 
Season three was the first time that Maddie really disappointed Abby. This season was when Miss Abby didn't really let me dance for like four weeks, and I got really, really sad because I can't break my mother's rules. I have to do what she tells me to do. There's people standing in the parking lot. Abby is still angry at me for walking out on her during the silent protest, and now Maddie's suffering from it. I'm really beginning to wonder if I made the right decision walking out with the moms. Maddie, I want to talk to you. Miss Abby brought me into Studio C and wanted to have a talk with me. I just wanted Miss Abby to understand that, like, I love to dance and I think I want it more than anyone else. What's going on? Why were you in your car last night crying? I was crying because I was just going to ask you if I could have a solo. I just, like, am, feel like this is, like, my home and... Uh-uh. Every opportunity I have given you came from my heart. Maddie won how many titles? How many times was she on the top of the pyramid? That was awful, Maddie. I don't deserve that. I didn't deserve any of it. I never saw this. There's always another kid. There's always somebody else. We love you. We were ready to work with you. And you sat out there. I'm sorry. Why did you get out of the car? No solo. Think about what you've done. It's going to take a long time. I don't know. I wanted to go back in the studio, but I mean, it was just drama. And I think the background music was making it more dramatic. A little bit. It was really hard for me because I wanted to please Abby and I wanted to, you know, dance and show her that I am good for this team. She gets mad at someone, she really is mean to them. Like, mm hmm. Yeah. But should Abby talk to Maddie that way? No, and I don't... I mean, she was talking to her like a grown-up, and, you know, Maddie wasn't a grown-up. And if I was a grown-up, I would probably just comfort the kid. I wouldn't, like, scream at her. Hey, Ab, Evan just called the studio? Oh, from the competition? What did he want? He just left a message, I don't know. Hi, Devin. This is Abby from the Abby Lee Dance Company. How are you? I'm doing well, Abby. How are you doing today? Good. I just wanted to return your call. Gianna had said that you called, and I wanted to thank you. I did want to make you aware of an issue. Contestant number 217, Sugar and Spice, received second place, highest score in the duet trio. So we did give you guys the incorrect award, so we wanted the opportunity to let you know that it was a mistake on our part, and we do apologize for that. All right. Well, thank you so much for calling. How about that? So they didn't win. Well, Kendall just had a win. rough weekend. Last week at Dance Troupe Challenge in Greensboro, Kendall and Maddie won it all. Number 217, Sugar and Spice, Abby Lee Dance Company. Turns out there was an error in the calculations, and they were second. And we all know what second is. The biggest loser on the stage. Once again, I'm not very happy. When I left that competition, everybody was gloating about how amazing you were. The big winners, nothing blew me away. I think all of you would be interested in knowing that our duet, Sugar and Spice, did not win. There was a mathematical error. And that means that Sugar and Spice, Maddie and Kendall, were not the overall high score winning duet trio. So Greensboro, North Carolina, which we thought was a smashing success, turned out to be a big letdown. Abby couldn't wait to come in and tell us that Kendall and Maddie did not get first place. And I think Abby reveled in that. I watched the group number. I saw some superb dancing, and I saw some horrendous dancing. Kendall, whose place did you take? Sophia's. Did you look like she would have looked doing that number? You don't know? I'll tell ya, no way. Sophia is still in LA. She's there with her mom. She's doing television. She's doing performances. So I need the girls to step it up in Sophia's absence, and they're just not doing it. Listen to me. Learn this. Every single one of you, when you're in here rehearsing and you keep screwing up, you don't need me to stand there and point out every mistake. Can't you see it? If you don't want to be a better dancer, I'm not going to waste my breath on you. I want to worry about the kid 
who wants to be a star. Not the kid that's here just so she gets invited to all the birthday parties. Kendall, you worked your way up that pyramid, and now you're right back where you started from. Next, Maddie. All for one, one for all. It's about the team. Kendall's there, you went with her. Nia, you did an okay job. I just don't see the feet getting any better. Moving up, Paige. You placed in the top five, that's an improvement. Next, Chloe, I thought you really stood out starting the group dance. Was the group fabulous? No. I think if your mother was more honest with you like she used to be two or three years ago, you would continue to improve. And on top of the pyramid is Mackenzie. It's like you bumped your sister right down there. Does it feel good to be up there? Well, guess what? You are back in the group routine. If you could go against nine-year-olds and win, then you can dance with a nine-year-old. I was the big winner last week, so Abby put me on the top of the pyramid. Pressure's on. This weekend, we will be traveling to Intensity Dance in Woodbridge, Virginia. Your replacements will be at the competition along with the rest of their studio. When the moms walked out of my studio, I replaced their kids. That's what you do. Two of those replacements, Kaylee and Bella, are going to be attending the dance competition this weekend. And I'm sure that they want nothing more than to beat my team. Mackenzie, you have a solo. Not only are you in this week's group routine, but you are going to be featured in the number as well. That's because this week we are doing an acrobatic routine. Chloe, I know acrobatics is not your forte, but your mom has stood out that desk and told me on several occasions that you have your standing back tack. So that's how the number's gonna start. Oh no, You're Chloe is not top. doing a standing. Oh yes, she is. No, Abby, I refuse. Yep. No, Abby, she does not have permission to do you that. You just said that she had I it. said that months ago. Right, so she it should be better. Abby telling Chloe that she's starting the group dance with a standing back tuck really sets me off because Abby knows that Chloe is not confident in the standing back tuck. So she's really just setting her up to fail. Chloe, you do you think you're confident enough? Be honest, Chloe. Well, why would you come and tell me your kid could do back tuck? Because when she... parents come and tell me things, it's because they want me to work it into the no, number. No, Chloe, you are not doing it in the routine. You know she is afraid of gymnastics tricks. She is not allowed to do it. You know what? You had Paige do a standing back tuck in that dressing room, and she broke no, her foot. I didn't. Yes, you did. I want to see your standing back tuck. Oh, oh can I try it? No, this is cement underneath this carpeting. You said, I want to see that standing back tuck. Chloe, you are not doing it in the routine. But the more we sit here and argue, the more they're not practicing. I'm not arguing. I invited a child to do a trick that her mother said she could do. Chloe, you were supposed to do a solo this week. But after the performance your mother just gave, we're going to hold off on that. OK. All right, girls, spread apart. Mothers, you are dismissed. Maybe you want to sit and really watch upstairs instead of being on your phones. Five, six, seven, eight. Uh, I don't even get it. One, two. Switch. The name of the group routine is Arabian Nights. It's a contortion, acrobatic, gymnastic tumbling routine. Jump up, you gotta jump your feet together. It has it all, complete with the authentic hands. It has to be sharp, boom. Do you think that I was wrong for standing up for Chloe? I don't think you're wrong at all. I just think that you fell right into Abby's trap. One, two. I think this Arabian dance will be a challenge for Paige because Abby always is yelling at her for her arms. Well, it's gonna be a challenge for Chloe because out of the group, she's not a gymnast. A gymnast or an acrobat. Paige, your elbows are lazy. First time I'm telling you. Let it be the last. So do you think that really bothers Maddie that Kenzie has all these solos and is the lead? Oh. I mean, that's usually Maddie's spot. Yeah, but Maddie is not jealous of her sister. She's proud of her, but she gets stressed out. Unless I suggested that you get some of Christy's spunk that she had at Pyramid. I just don't know how you can sit there, like, and not say anything. It's been a few weeks, and Maddie still hasn't had a solo. It's hard, but, you know, she knows she'll get one eventually. Well, I'm going to talk to Abby. <gasps> you are? Mm hmm Yeah, after. Good. About what? After rehearsal. I'm proud of you. That's good. I'm letting you all go. You are dismissed. Go through that door. Ab, can I talk to you for a sec before you leave? Yeah, what? I really would love for Maddie to prove to you that she can Win. I know, and, Melissa, you but know. you have to realize that she was just in a duet with Kendall. And even though she was a lot better than Kendall and a lot stronger, 
She didn't blow me away either. She is special, and my daughter I know, but why wants am to dance. Why telling you that? Why wouldn't a kid that had the potential to make it, to have a career in this business, not have her own integrity, her own ambition she to, to come get in. out of the car and walk in? She wanted to come. Then why didn't you? What, what kind of parent were you to not let her? If you're doing this for Kelly, you're a fool. Don't do this to your kid. I've been committed to the studio. But your daughter has been given opportunity after opportunity and after I realize opportunity. It. And I appreciate that. I have sent that. her to New York for auditions. And she's gone every LA. time. I do all of these things, Melissa. And I know that. I called you. I know you did. I called you. I didn't call every one of those mothers. You, you know what? My daughter is special. Your kids special on Paige and Brooke. I would have never picked up the phone and called Sophia if Maddie would have been in this building working her butt off. Well, you know, we all make mistakes, Abby. I have been yeah, committed to this Yeah, but what you did, video. you hurt your own kid. You didn't hurt me. I, I realize that, Abby. No solo this weekend. There is no way, Melissa, you did this to Maddie, not me. I'm not going to worry about it. Come on, let's go. Get dressed, man. Get your shoes on. Who's going to have the other solo this week? Well, Melissa just asked me if Maddie could do a solo. After that, do no. you? No. No way. No. And now she wants to sell it. And now she wants to sell it. <laughs> it's okay. I just really want to do it. I know. You work hard, Maddie. You don't miss classes. You're a good girl, okay? Now, you all realize that we had to put an extra class in the schedule because we're doing an acrobatic routine this week. So let's spread apart and let's do some drills quickly. We teach acrobatics and gymnastics at our studio every single day. But I feel the kids need an extra class just to go through the tricks that I'm going to use in the routine. A little better, a little tighter. Ready? Five, six. The group dance this week is acrobatic, and that makes me a little nervous because acro is not Chloe's forte. OK, she'd not be one of the ones. Go ahead. She's the one whose mother thinks she can do the back tuck. You're so crooked. You're so, all that alignment from that left split comes out in everything you do. Why is Chloe crying? Because Abby's awful to her. Why don't you like one free punch at Abby's face? You know what, she's not happy unless she's humiliating someone. Chloe struggles in acrobatic class. She's not flexible for acrobatics and she's not strong for gymnastics. But if I put a standing back tuck in this routine, everybody has to do it. Put the mats away. Any news on the solos? I think Chloe Anybody? has one. Chloe has a solo? No, not as far as I know. Didn't she learn one today? She, she was supposed to. When you asked her yesterday for a solo, what did Abby say? Oh, she just kept ranting. I gave your daughter all these opportunities. And I'm like, I did a lot for you through these years. She says we're ungrateful and ungrateful. That's being ungrateful. She's ungrateful. Right. Well, Melissa, I'm glad you stuck with us in the parking lot, because I know that was Me hard too. for you to do. I am too. And don't regret what she did. A true friend would not be treating you this way, or your children. I know Abby is still angry at me for walking out on her during the silent protest, and now Maddie's suffering from it. I'm really beginning to wonder if I made the right decision walking out with the moms. Five, six, seven, go. Ah, what are you two doing? Uh-oh, Kenzie's crying. Uh-oh. What happened? What happened? What's going on? Go get a drink, come on. I find it funny that Melissa feels upset, mad. My yeah. kid's always a backup dancer, and my kid never gets a solo. Melissa and Maddie are making such a big deal out of it that they don't have a solo. Well, like, welcome to my life, my kid's life. Melissa and Maddie can't stand it that Maddie's not the star. I am fortunate that Chloe has solos often, but you guys have gone months, some oh of God. you. One of the moms, when I was leaving here last night, grabbed me in the parking lot. She said, Melissa is really second guessing her choice to stick by you guys. Melissa keeps saying, Abby has ruined Maddie. You know, I shouldn't have done it. Nobody That's twisted done. her arm and said, you need to stick by us. She chose to do that. Yeah. Sometimes it's more important to teach your daughter to do the right thing than to be on top of a pyramid and get a solo. Arabian Nights, better do well. You were dismissed, I want to talk to you. Chloe looks like she wants to throw up. Come here, Chloe. I don't think you deserve a solo. Not the way your mother speaks to me in the pyramid. I want what's best for you as my dancer. What am I going to do? 
I'm in between a rock and a hard place. Chloe, I'm giving you your solo back. It's what time? And we have one day, and now I'm going to start it. We could have been finished with your solo. It could be done by now. Let's go. Now, the theme of the dance is haunted. It's scary. It's dark. And the movement is similar to what we just did in the group dance. Understood? Five, six, step across seven. Chloe is doing a lyrical contemporary piece entitled Haunted. Chloe really has to be an actress to pull off this routine. She needs to be a haunted character. The best way to think about that is by thinking of her mother. Down, cross, posse. I love watching Chloe dance, and I think that every time Chloe steps on stage, it helps make her a better dancer. So I was really glad that Abby finally, you know, bucked up and was the grown up about it and said, hey, Chloe, you earned this. It's yours, regardless of what your mother did. Right, really beautiful leg. Get that leg up and wing that foot. Hey, Chloe, it's not OK to make your own thing up and just keep going. That is unacceptable now. That was for a little kid. I will see you tomorrow morning, ready to get on that bus. And I want perfection. Maddie, I want to talk to you. Miss Abby brought me into Studio C and wanted to have a talk with me. I just wanted Miss Abby to understand that, like, I love to dance and I think I want it more than anyone else. What's going on? Why were you in your car last night crying? I was crying because I was just going to ask you if I could have a solo. I just, like, am feel like this is like my home and... Uh-uh. Every opportunity I have given you came from my heart. Maddie won how many titles? How many times was she on the top of the pyramid? Girls, come on, I want to get going for the pyramid. Where are you? There's people standing in the parking lot. That was awful, Maddie. I don't deserve that. I didn't deserve any of it. There's always another kid. There's always somebody else. We love you. We were ready to work with you. And you sat out there. I'm sorry. Why didn't you get out of the car and go? No, I'm going in there. I'm sorry. Maddie, no solo. Think about what you've done. It's going to take a long time. Mackenzie, you have one day today, you have right now to fix this dance before we start the group rehearsal and you're competing tomorrow. Brain in the head, focus on nothing but this right now. Turn around. All right, let's go. Mackenzie is doing a contemporary acrobatic routine called Dancing Barefoot. She is used to going out on that stage and smiling and making her cute little faces. Feet are sickled right there when you go on your side and fix that. Fix it. Yes. Well, you know what? She's eight now. I want to see beautiful lines. I want to see real choreography. I want to see her tell a story. Maddie was able to do it when she was eight. Up, up, down, down, jeté, push, roll, roll. Sloppy feet rolling around. Step up. All right, I need to know more about Studio Blue. Well, Abby sure is enamored by them. What are they known for, do you That's know? That's what I'm looking. Although I know the competition will have more than one dance studio there, the only one that Abby cares about at this moment is Studio Blue. Yeah, I'm looking Where at are they their... located? Well, they're in How... Ashburn, Virginia. They'll probably have amazing costumes, an uh -huh. amazing number, and they probably did it in Nationals last year. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And didn't whip it up, and they're probably coming out to beat our butts. Three, four, five, you did it again. You're moving your right hand. Didn't you get home late? We got home so late last night. I got home later because Maddie talked to Abby last night. What happened? Her and Abby talked, and Abby cried. Why would Abby cry? Because Aunt Maddie was crying and saying, you know, you're mad at me for something my mother did, and you do, you know, basically she does it to all the kids. Abby said, I love you, and Gia loves you, and, you know, we were just really disappointed in your mom and the decision she made, and... Isn't that a difference in the conversation? Because she sat there and cried and had a nice moment with your daughter, where my daughter, she sat there last night, same thing, and pretty much told her that she was a piece of garbage and didn't deserve to have anything. I mean, I'm glad for you. That's great, like, that your kids are loved, but it's terrible for everyone else. Could you quit running up to the mirror so close? Think! Don't get so close so that you're tumbling into the stool. I'm not yelling anymore. Hey, how are you doing? We're headed 
to Woodbridge, Virginia to attend Intensity Dance. There's hundreds of great studios there, and there's a ton of incredible dancers. I'm excited to go there because two of my replacement team members, Bella and Kaylee, will be there at Intensity Dance competing against the Abbey Lee Dance Company. Studio Blue is from Virginia. So we are coming to their hometown. We are invading their turf. And I'm pretty sure they want to beat us and kick us out of there. Thank you. Watch out for Studio Blue, that's all I'm saying. Here we go. Come on in, girls. You know who the kids from Studio Blue are? Bella and Haley replaced you at your studio, the Abbey Lee Dance Company, traveling to a competition, wearing my name on their back. Keep your eyes out for them. Make sure you are better than them. Stronger, fitter, smarter, sharper. Do all of those things, you'll be fine. Talent prevails. I'm anxious to see their legs and feet and see how much they've improved with my tricks of the trade. But why would you give another yeah. studio your tricks and trades? Because you quit, Kelly. Your kids were sitting at home. They weren't in the studio. Mackenzie, you're my first one up, all right? So you cannot miss a trick, understood? You have to nail every single trick. If the legs aren't straight and the feet aren't pointed, you're not going to win. Go through it. The pressure is on you. You won last week, and I say it every time. You know, getting to the top is one thing, staying there is another thing. Mackenzie looks beautiful. That turquoise costume certainly looks like the beach. But the kid has this look on her face like she is scared to death. Hey, come on, Mackenzie. Now remember, the pressure is on. I'm counting on you to win this division. Don't mess it up, kiddo. Got it? You're not serious enough, Mackenzie. I'm a little nervous for Mackenzie to have this type of solo. She can be real cutesy on stage, but this type of emotion is different for her. Let's go. Abby gave me a harder dance. I'm freaking out that I'm going to forget my solo. All right, skipping ahead just a little bit in your program to entry number nine in the mini solo division. This is Mackenzie with Dancing Barefoot. second where she goes completely black. <laughs> the end, she was early, so she had to add another chin stand in and ends up finishing facing the wrong direction. Dumb mistake, Mackenzie. Dumb mistake. You okay? Oh, yeah, I'm fine. What are you going to do? Yeah, you're right. She's not Maddie. What? She is not Maddie. Hello! Good job, Ken! Mackenzie, how do you feel like you did? I think I did crap. Mackenzie actually danced against eight and nine-year-olds this week, so I just don't think she was ready for this type of dance. Well, well, well. Get on stage and forget your dance. Look like a deer in the headlights. You're like this. So, Mackenzie, let's go through what all you did wrong. You choreographed your own dance at the end, which I don't really appreciate. You were early on the music. 
You know, I don't want to be mean. I don't want to be nasty. I would have loved to have walked in here and had you run and hug me and be so thrilled with your performance. But that's not what you do. You were going to be the overall high score, eight and under. Go out there and do what you did. You went out, you screwed up, you failed, and you know what? She's not ready to do a big girl dance. I don't know what religion you all are, but I'd start praying because that's all we have left. Chloe, when you step out on the stage, we should have goosebumps. All right, ready, hit play, let's go. that Chloe has a solo, I'm always trying to be like, oh, you know, it's okay. But I want Chloe to win. I really want her to go out there, and I want her to prove that she is a force to be reckoned with. Girls, if we bump into those kids that showed up to replace you, you will be nice, and you will say hello like I have taught you. OK, make me proud. I will. Make yourself proud. OK. okay. The kid that came in that replaced you, you're now up against. Let's go. Head up, confident. All right, you're gonna be beautiful, right? You're be gorgeous. Hey, ladies. Hey, Abby. Hey, how are you? Hi, Hi. girls. This is Bella, and this is Kaylee. Hi. Tell them how old you are. I'm 11. You when did? No. Were you not 10 at that audition? I just turned 11. Oh, you did. Okay. So, Chloe, you're 11. So, all right. Well. Best of luck, also ladies. Confused. You're very tall. Yeah, I'm confused why they had to ask their moms how old they were. They just had birthdays, I think. Because they compete at little... different age. You know the rules. They compete yeah. different and age. January 1st is the age. I, I really like was making fun of our kids. Yeah. No, no, I was just wondering because we have problems with people all the time saying fake ages. So oh, that's no, no, what no, we were no, wondering. No. We run into these studio blue dancers in the hall, and Abby's like, oh, tell them how old you are. And the kids are like, how old am I? Like, how do you not know how old you are? Let's go. Good luck, guys. Good luck. You too. Good luck. Good luck. You know, we've seen these tricks before by someone named Kathy, and those people were like 27. That was weird. All right, coming to the stage next in the junior solo division, this is entry number 21, Isabella with Over and Over Again. as I thought she was going to be. She never utilized her space. I think Chloe has a good shot now. All right, up next in the junior solo division, this is entry number 22, Kaylee with There's Always Hope. dancer. She's strong yet graceful. She has lovely lines and she can turn like nobody's business. Mm -hmm. 
I'm a little bit nervous before my solo because I don't really like it when Miss Abby gets mad because she gets really loud and kind of scary. All right, coming to the stage next in the junior solo division, this is entry number 20, Chloe with Haunted. dances from the heart, it's such a difference. And I don't think that she connected with this piece. I think she did really well. I think she hit her turns, but it wasn't quite what I know Chloe can do. I thought she danced really well, but I thought she danced better in the studio. I'm not gonna lie, I did. I thought, but I think they're always better in the studio. I don't know. Right. Hi. Hi. What did you think of Chloe's performance? I thought it was good, and I, I was very honest with Chloe. I thought she did it better in the studio. I know Chloe can be great. I've seen her be great. Well, we need to get back to being great. I, I realized that, and that's what I said and to I'm her. I'm sorry, Kelly, if this offends you, but Chloe's future can't be at the expense of your two kids. Melissa, you can tell all the other moms about it, right? You know, sometimes people make mistakes, and you've made mistakes, Abby, too. I've made lots of mistakes. Okay, so have I. You are more worried about I... your friendships with all of these women than your own kids, and you know it. My kids... The same thing no. about worrying about a guy instead of your own kids. Yes. My kids can Going from one husband to another so? instead of just worrying about your kids? Please. We have a happy household. Well, your kid doesn't look very happy to me. Really? Absolutely. I think Sophia Lucia rocked her world. One more thing. All of you kids, you need to listen up. If one person really has the dreams and the passion to do this for a living, yeah. nothing Keep should get together. in their way. Melissa, listen to what I'm saying. I'm hearing nothing you. Nothing should get in their way. And I know. Not your personal life. I not their personal dad's life. personal life. Not some other kid. It has nothing to do with that. Maddie needs to focus. The dance studio is the place that she thinks of as home. I know that. And you ripped her out of there and let her sit in the parking lot for 12 hours. I feel sorry for Maddie. She had a good thing going. Melissa, you're doing your kid an injustice. I am not going to sit in a dressing room with a bunch of kids and a bunch of disrespectful mothers. Abby just took some things out on Maddie instead of me, and it's just her way of getting to me. Stop. Stop now. You know what? It's OK to cry, no, though. No, because she has all this makeup on. It's well, not OK to cry. It's OK to no reason. Out. She's upset. That woman just berated her mother, her father, everybody. You know what? You should be upset, too, and you should have put a stop to that woman you know what? saying that it stuff. It is what it is. I have a wonderful life. You let her do that to you. I'm not going to upset my she child. She already upset her for you. obvious Abby's not coming back in no, here. Obviously. No, We're in the not. dressing room getting ready to go on stage, and Abby didn't even run the dance with them. OK, girls, if you're dressed, get over here. Christy was running the dance with them. Christy never took a dance lesson in her life. And Abby expects us to go out there and get first. Beautiful feet, girls. I might not be a dance teacher, but I've watched enough dance in my life to know what looks good and what looks bad. Straight legs. Straight legs, all of you. 100 times better. Yay! All right, here we go one more time in the junior small group division. This is entry number 47, Studio Blue.
totally moved by the number. I thought it was outstanding. They did it with grace. This dance was an advanced routine. I think it's important that we beat them because Miss Abby always says, your replacements are better than you, and I want to prove to her that we're better than them. This is entry number 26, entitled Arabian Denver! Nights. this week, Studio Blue and our number. I think it's going to be one and two, mm, hoping that we're number one. Thank you so much for coming and being a part of the competition. All right, we are ready to move into our divisional overalls. We're going to start off the elite mini soul division of competition. In fourth place is Miss Taryn with act number two, Amazing Grace. Third place is Miss McKenzie with act number nine, Dancing Barefoot. Really, third, she goes from first to third in six days. What went wrong? She was clearly outdanced. We're gonna jump now to elite junior soloists. Fourth place is Miss Isabella with act number 21 over and over again. Your first runner up from our elite junior solo division of competition is Miss Chloe with act number 20, Haunted. Just imagine if Chloe worked over the break. If she had her mother being nice and sweet and paying her bills on time, Chloe would have been first. Chloe would be amazing. And last but not least, that top spot in the elite junior solo division of competition is Miss Haley with act number 22, There's Always Hope. Chloe beat Bella, but she didn't beat Kaylee. Not even close. Moving now into our elite junior small groups. In fifth place is act number 10, Cell Block Tango. Fourth place is act number 26, Arabian Nights. This is incredibly humbling. Like, we have not come in fourth since, can you remember? Third place with a score of 279 points is act number 27, AU. Second place with a score of 280.5 points is act number four, Watching You. And last but not least, that top spot from our elite junior small group division of competition belongs to act number 47, Studio Blue. Talk about a horrible weekend. Talk about a bad experience. Ugh, that was it. I don't know what to say. It was humiliating. I was humbled by the experience. Hey, Good yeah. job. Yeah. Hello. Good job. National champions to fourth. You just proved my point. The break, the parking lot, the work ethic. You went from national champions against amazing dancers to being fourth. So if they did the routine to the best of their ability, then who's responsible here? You. Chloe's back tuck. Oh my God, Abby, you just can't let the whole standing back tuck argument go. You know, Chloe clearly wasn't ready to do it. Maybe you should look at the real reason we got fourth place. Bad choreography. Chloe, take a little check and imagine if you were equally as flexible on the right and the left, and if you were on time every single Monday. Abby, her school is dismissed at 4.30. She comes. So she's late. Why don't you pick her up and see if you can get Why her there on time? Why don't you just get an early dismissal on Mondays? Because she's not getting an early dismissal because she's going to school. Christy, 
Stop making excuses for your kid. Do you have a great kid? Yes, every parent in America has a great kid. We get it. Is her left split as good as her right? No, that's my concern. I guess your mom's happy with mediocre too. Chloe, you have Stop to put the work on. Stop picking on my kid. I am not picking on you your kid. You pick on the children. Cause you're an idiot. You are the biggest idiot I've ever if you met. you would get off your phone and worry about your kid and worry about her left leg. Abby, there are so many things I could say to you right now and I'm gonna say nothing because- Really? Really, Christy? Yeah, okay, really? fatty. Fatty, fatty, if fatty, that's all fatty, you got, fatty. Bring it on, and babe. you know what? Because I can lose matter. weight, but How ugly you, is to the bone. You know what? To the bone. Exactly the point. You are ugly to the core. Really? Girls, why don't you guys go inside? Do you hear what your mother's saying? That's what she's teaching you. That's what you just said about her mother! Because I think you act like an idiot in front of her. Again, the big lie, if I just keep saying it over and over again, it'll be true. I feel sad for you. It's like putting silk stockings on a mule with some of you. Or lipstick on a pig. <laughs> In season five, I did two more Sia videos for Elastic Heart and for Big Girls Cry. You think you're done with the Sia music videos? I definitely want to do more Sia videos, and I'm pretty sure she has a lot more songs, so we can do more. Maddie's like a full-fledged star now. She has over three million Instagram followers. She has over a billion views on the, all the Sia videos. And with fame, there comes controversy, you know, and some people didn't like the video, Elastic Heart with Shia and Maddie, and it was amazing. It was such a work of art, and I'm so glad that she did it. I don't regret that she did it, and there was nothing wrong with it. Oh my gosh. Kathy interviewed with TMZ about the video, which is ridiculous. What did she say? <coughs> um, Kathy told us she wanted to throw up when she saw it and would never let her daughter do that, and talked crap about the cage. Did you see Sia apologize for the oh, video? Oh, I did see that. Sia yeah. apologized? Yeah, I guess that opinion was offended. Who was offended? People. People. Oh, I, I have not seen any negative stuff. I only watch, I don't look at negative, so. Melissa, you and Abby shelter Maddie from everything. But she's famous now. She is going to find out sooner or later what people are saying about her, good or bad. I can't deal with that. Sometimes all it takes is one negative thing oh, and people cool. jump on that. Yes. Yeah. Don't care. It wow. They do. I wouldn't say don't care because I think there are times well, we should care. But there's a lot. Oh, I do care what people say, but so. there's been so many great comments and I, on it. And I think you need a balance. So there's there's right. a balance because just like not everybody likes my kid. Oh well. And the Huffington Post right here, C apologizes for triggering concerns with Elastic Heart video. Whatever. I just hope that she comes to her senses and tells Maddie about it before Maddie hears it from someone else. At the time, I had no clue that there would be any controversy because I'm 12 years old, first of all. Second of all, I'm a dancer, I'm an actress, and he's acting. It's not like anything was happening. We're just acting. Yeah, and they're buddies. I mean, I think that with any celebrity or anybody in the public eye, people are gonna try to knock, knock you down. And it's unfortunate that's what the business is like, but you just can't let the haters hate, just like Taylor Swift says. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, really, there's always going to be hate. and Not everyone's going to like you, but they're talking about you, so that's all that matters. Yep. I think that Elastic Heart is when I figured out how to really, really act, because Shia influenced me. I just think she was here, and now she's up here. And they have something coming up, hopefully. Not hopefully, it's happening. Yeah. Hello, hello, hello. Hi. I'm so excited! Yes, I'm so proud of you. Ah, looks so good. Maddie's second project with the artist Sia was released today. It's called Elastic Heart. In the video, she danced alongside the famous actor Shia LaBeouf. The concept is very abstract. She was hissing at him. She bit him. Now, I'm sure there's naysayers out there, but that's what's provocative about it. That's what artists do. So, Maddie, do you like it better than the other one? Uh, it's different. Really so cool. why were you dirty? It's because I was playing a wolf, and then we've been living in that cage for like a year, she said. Is he another animal? No, he, he's a person. How could a person be stuck in a cage with a wolf? I don't really understand the video, but it's artistic, and that means it's open for interpretation by the viewer. Who is that? Oh, <gasps> wait, wait, is that Candy Apples? That candy yes! Apples. I look over at Kira's phone and I see a social media post from Kathy. She's competing against us this week and has a whole new team. I am freaking out. I am freaking out. 
That's Tessa. <gasps> Haley's on there. Every one of these people have been to multiple Abby auditions. And two of them are from Abby's competition show. Kathy has made a team out of all Abby's rejects. Oh my God, Abby is gonna flip out. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go, move in, let's go! You are gonna be so mad. Kathy has a whole new team. All the kids from your auditions, including Haley and Tessa. Really? These two young ladies have been trying to get on my team forever. Now, the one little girl, Tessa, has become a beautiful dancer since her days on my competition show. And her mother, she's feisty, she's fun. We've actually become friends, if you will, since then. And I'm sure we will see you again soon. Thank you. Now, this Haley chick. The last time I saw this kid and her mother was at an open call audition. And I finally had to lay into her and tell her how despicable it was that she showed up outside a book signing that I was doing and signed my book. Haley's name was in the book. She was outside signing my book. You may go. You're done. So instead of thinking about her daughter's future, she's going to stoop to the level of dancing for Kathy. It's all about revenge for her. Now she has some girls that can really dance. Last week, the team came in third. If you lose to Kathy, I'm not gonna have it. Well, we need to move on to the pyramid. Kendall and Nia. You both were given solos. Neither one of you placed in the top five. You don't place in the top five, I'm not gonna see another solo for a while. Okay, moving on up. My next line is JoJo, Mackenzie, and Kalani. You were all in the group dance. I thought it was great. You took me back to that era. You could have all been extras in a movie. But the group dance didn't win. I want the Abby Lee Dance Company Junior League Competition team to blow everybody away. You understand? Yes. And on top of the pyramid is Maddie. You were our big winner in Philadelphia. You were the overall high score. Now, this weekend, we're competing at Energy National Dance Competition. To go against the candy apples. This week, there's no solos in honor of Maddie's amazing duet with Shia LaBeouf. We are doing three duets. A duet relies on two people working together as one. Maddie, your duet partner is Kalani. <laughs> the name of your duet is Walking Through the Storm. Now, remember the last time you did a duet? It was lovely. When you are number one, there's nowhere to go but down. Our next duet, JoJo, you will be partnering up with Kendall. That's cute. Look at you. Oh, they're both funny? Well, that's good because it's inspired by the Disney movie Freaky Friday. That movie's a classic. I mean, you can't live unless you've seen Freaky Friday. But I really have to work hard this week because we switch bodies and I'm the total opposite of JoJo. I do not wear sequins, I do not wear rhinestones, and I don't live in Nebraska. All right, my last duet goes to Mackenzie and Nia. The name of your routine is The Little Girl Who Lived Down the Lane. Is it scary? Yes, yeah, I'm scary. Yay. We like the scary. All right, now, we have a group routine. It's a little mystery. 
one of you gets killed. Oh, oh. this is rough. Oh. Oh. Maddie, you and Shia in the video. You had to act. The rest of you have to act too. Because in two weeks, the Abby Lee Dance Company will be back in LA. <laughs> exciting. My team came back from Los Angeles feeling defeated, but since then, we've evolved. And now, this is our chance to redeem ourselves. Whatever doesn't kill you will only make you stronger. So moms, let's go. Out the door. Goodbye, mothers. Bye. Go. You all are new, and I'd love to welcome you. I don't not like the team that just left, but we all needed a break because I am so over not winning. I have not won against Abby in two years. It's been two years. I need you to be my soldiers. Woo. Got it. That's okay. what they are. Can I introduce your choreographer? This guy is the winner of So You Think You Can Dance. This is the real deal. <laughs> Keon was with me during nationals in LA, and I adored working with him. So I offered Keon the opportunity to come back and work with my new premium team. I just want to tell you something. We are here to win and to make you proud. Honestly, okay. I know you loved your other team, but just remember, Haley and I are out to get Abby. I'm excited for Abby to see all of my girls. They've all danced for Abby, but she let those girls slip through her fingers like grains of sand. I now have them, and they have a goal, and it's to win and to put Abby in her place. You have one thing to do this week, and that is to prove that you are no longer affiliated with Abby. I don't care whether she takes you to the Ritz, or she takes you to movies, or she comes up and coddles you. She is going to pull that. I want you to shun her. Oh, that's what I want to see. And if I don't see it, then you can pack your little Louis Vuittons, and you can move along and get your first plane ticket out of here. Let's stretch out. Let's go. Put some music on. There's been a murder. There's a mystery. Who did it? Was there a weapon? Do we find the clue? The group routine is about the board game that I used to play as a child. Somebody was murdered, but I wonder who did it. I haven't a clue. Come on, let's go. We don't have time to waste. Do it, Kalani. Turn those feet out, Mackenzie. I'm watching you. Don't sickle. OK. I think Mackenzie's a hot mess. Now the rest of you, you're not getting your characters. What? I still have your guys. <laughs> Whoever doesn't do the dance very well, so we can just lay them on the ground right now. It's looking like you. Now see, this choreography looks different. Yeah, you're right but I don't know if it's going to be competitive, like a lyrical. Well, I would have to guess that candy apples will be doing a lyrical dance, because I think all, all those lyrical dancers dance? are lyrical. You have to figure out who their choreographer is. Yeah, you could call Tessa's mom. I know some of these moms from Abby's competition show, and these moms are crazy. Oh, Renee. Mm-hmm. Hey, is this Renee? It is. Hey, this is JoJo's mom, Jess. How about you get a life? <gasps> oh! <laughs> they are bitter apples. I oh wouldn't know what's in her cereal this morning. The candy apple team. They have such a chip on their shoulder. They want to beat us so badly that they can't see straight. Coming up on Dance Moms. Sia and Maddie's new video has really pushed the envelope. Everybody's talking about it. Hello? It's TMZ. Who was offended? People. People. I would be embarrassed.
was the hardest part of videos? Was it fun to shoot? It was so much fun to shoot. It was definitely the most tiring and the most dirty I've ever been. <laughs> Maddie's being interviewed today for her new video with Sia and Shia LaBeouf. It has really pushed the envelope, and Maddie has gotten so many phone calls. People Magazine, Good Morning America, Today Show. I mean, it's crazy. What would you say has been the, the, the toughest part of, uh, you know, the, the attention you've received since? Everyone asks me, what's what's the video about? Why are you chasing him? Right. What, what's... No one really understood the story of it, but I think that's what's cool about it because, you know, people are left with, like, a mystery. Like, they have to figure out what the story is. Right. I'm just so impressed with Maddie. She doesn't really get excited over anything, and she's just so humble. I don't know. It, it's a little crazy to me. Hey, thank you very much. Thank I really you. appreciate thank you guys' you. time. Listen for timing. Good? Together? I have a lot of great, amazing dancers this week. These girls have all danced for Abby. And now, they're all mine. I feel like I've got this one in the bag. Stay together. Good recovery. I have one thing to say. You have a deep-seated reason to go after Abby. Make sure that I see that in your dancing. Prove to me this week that you are candy apple winners. I only want winners. Hello? It's TMZ. Hi. Hi. Um, uh, we're doing a story on um, TSU's video with Maddie. I'm just curious to hear what everyone has to say about it. Well, I almost threw up. I have to say that. I am flabbergasted. Yeah. I don't think that many yeah. parents out there would allow that. That was not art form to me. The video itself made me very uncomfortable. Abby likes to think Maddie is always the crowd pleaser, but she's been riding the wave for too long. It's time that she falls off the boogie board. All right, thank you. Bye-bye. At the competition this weekend, I'm going to make sure that she does. The win is going to be ours. Straighten your back knee, Mackenzie. So the little girl down the lane thinks she's friends. But in reality, you're just bitterly jealous of the little girl that lived down the lane. She needs to like be crazy. There needs to be a moment where you just do this. Uh, this week, we are doing three duets in honor of Maddie's duet with Shia LaBeouf. Then you get a little Eva with her. Nia and Mackenzie. I was inspired by their work together as partners in Nationals' big winning number last year, Amber Alert. Nia was the one that did all the partner work with Mackenzie. There's a bond there. They trust each other. Reach. Head up on that. All right, girls, that's it. Let's get to the group routine. Where is Holly? She's downstairs. Hi, Aubrey. How are you? She's doing great. We're going back to LA in a couple of weeks, and she has been bugging me about this idea of doing a music video. Who is that? Aubrey? Yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't know that. if that's good. Maddie has this incredible relationship with Sia, who's a celebrity, and Nia also has a wonderful relationship with an, a celebrity. Recording the song of Aubrey O'Day has definitely developed her singing career. So y'all want to get started? Yeah, let's do this. Woo! Shit. Do you want to talk to her? I can get pull out of class. Do you want me to yeah, do? Yeah, oh, hold sure. on one second. I'm gonna go see if I can grab her. Hold on one second. Okay. And then we start to move. So we're in the air for just one second. Just one second. Sorry. Okay, I just need to borrow you for one second. Oh my god, Nia needs to be in there. This is ridiculous. I mean, they could have done this phone call prior to rehearsal. Hello? Hi, little mama. It's Aubrey. Hi. One day of rehearsal. This is it. Just saying. It's not good for the kids. The kids need to all be in there. To pull Nia out of class, it's not fair to the other kids. If it was Maddie, 
I wouldn't have pulled her out of rehearsal. Hi, Hall. What is going on? Where have you been? We just had a conversation with Aubrey. Okay. It is so hard to get onto her schedule, and this was like the one window of time that she had available. Um, Melissa was pretty upset that Nia was not learning the dance with the girls. Oh my God, I love the lies right in front of me. You said it's not fair that she's doing this during group time. Yeah, f you, I did not. You don't know me, you don't know me. Nia also doesn't have the relationship where she can pull strings to have no, rehearsals think... rearranged so those things right. could happen. Right. Are you kidding me? Are you crazy? Crazy. Maddie's gone all of the time. We all know when Melissa needs to make a choice, her kids will come first over the team. She needs to stop. All right, let's see you two. Now, you two are my best dancers. Sometimes people look at a gorgeous girl on stage and they get a little jealous. Better be beautiful. Walk through the storm. OK, let's go. Kalani and Maddie, they're both beautiful dancers. However, everybody wants to see them fail. And the dancers that Kathy has solicited to be on her team this week, they are amazing kids with gorgeous legs and beautiful feet. So I'm expecting more from them. OK, I don't think there's any connection between the two of you. Maddie, you had more intensity, more connection with Shia LaBeouf than you do with Kalani. OK? Oh, my gosh. Kathy interviewed with TMZ about the video, which is ridiculous. What did she say? <laughs> um, Kathy told us she wanted to throw up when she saw it and would never let her daughter do that and talked crap about the cage. Did you see Sia apologize for the oh, video? Oh, I did see that. Sia yeah. apologized? Yeah, I guess that people opinion are... was offended. Who was offended? People. People. Oh, I, I have not seen any negative stuff. I only watch, I don't look at negative so. Melissa, you and Abby shelter Maddie from everything. But she's famous now. She is going to find out sooner or later what people are saying about her, good or bad. Sometimes all it takes is one negative thing and people jump on that. Yes. Don't care. It do they do. I wouldn't say don't care, because I think there are times well, we should care. But there's a lot. Oh. I do care what people say, but so. there's been so many great comments and on I, it. And I think you need a balance. So there's, there's right. a balance, because just like, not everybody likes my kid. Oh, well. And the Huffington Post right here, C apologizes for triggering concerns with the Elastic Heart video. Whatever. I just hope that she comes to her senses and tells Maddie about it before Maddie hears it from someone else. Coming up on Dance Moms. Do you guys want to touch JoJo's jacket? It might be the closest no, no, no. she'll ever get to an Abby Lee jacket. Your daughter will and never be a star. star. Get your rodent butt out of my dressing room. Not getting into character. Remember when Maddie yesterday was telling you about Shia LaBeouf being a method actor, like he really gets into it? That's the same thing. Do the face now, get into character. Be method dancers. Kendall and JoJo's duet has a Freaky Friday theme. They switch personalities and act like one another. Grab it, and then turn around yourself. Right. Turn, 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 turn. Kendall looks like JoJo today. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> She's like, oh, I have this really big bow. And I'm like, oh my god, you can wear your lame. All right, let's see the group routine. Oh, the murder weapons. <gasps> oh my god, yes! <gasps> that is a noose. <laughs> Candlestick. This week's group number is inspired by Clue, the board game. I love this game. Yes. If you do that, then it's easier to set it down because it's higher. How are you? Do you have a moment to talk? Sure. Maddie, we're going to do an interview with Entertainment Tonight. <sighs> Is this different than Nia taking time out? No, it's the same. Oh, OK. 
Just want to make sure. Entertainment Tonight comes in, and everything stops. Nia, Jojo, girls out of here. Rehearsal is over. Day before competition, our choreography isn't finished, and all Abby does is talk about how amazing Kathy's new kids are. This is not going to be good. We can't compete with, with no. Sia, with any of it. So why we can all go home, and Melissa, you can sit here, because this, we this is all we do. We this can't we do. compete with this, so no. why try? This could be the week that we lose to Candy Apples. Mm -hmm. have a whole new team of girls. They've all had empty promises from Abby and been overlooked by Abby. And I'm hoping that they will really come together and unite as a team and give us that victory that we're looking for. Oh, looky there. ALDC. Hmm. Maybe we should go inside and snoop around. Shh. This is where Abby sits. Okay. Oh, because they have two seats. Oh. <laughs> well, we should probably get out of this room before they come in here. Or we could come out from the curtain. Oh, yeah, that one would be by one. Yeah. Take your purses, ladies. Oh, look, they have bagels. Oh, they have food. Should yeah. we spit on them? <laughs> is that whole plate for Abby? Yeah. I'm sure it is. Oh. Oh. Pass me a bagel. <laughs> All right, come on. Shh. Come on. Let's go. Oh, it is cold. Oh, my God. It's like a jack in the box. Uh oh. Uh, moms, you weren't supposed to do that. Do you want to be on this team? I want to be on your yeah, team. Yeah, OK. I got the opportunity. Do you want to be, be on this team, team, Renee? Yeah, yeah. Well, OK. Of course so, they want to uh, be on this team. They're not on your team. Just goes to show you make mistakes. Kathy, she has to be an idiot if she thinks that this new team is going to be loyal to her. These girls are so desperate to be on my team, they would come running to me at the drop of a hat. Do you guys want to touch JoJo's jacket? It might be the closest she'll ever get to an Abby Lee jacket. Woo! <laughs> Your daughter will and never be a star. star. You dream of being on. Actually, I'm... no. I don't want to be on your why team. You I'm here with Kathy's team. Right. That's why you were at the audition? Right. OK. OK. These candy apple moms want to prove that they're better than the ALDC, but you're not. I mean, if you were, you would be where we are. Did I not tell you what she would do? That she would come up and embrace you in a hug and oh, yeah. no, Because I've known her for years. Get your rodent butt out of my dressing room, because it says CADC. So take your 80s hairdo and your ass out of here. I don't swear. With all due respect, I'm oh, here really? to fight a war. I am part of this army now, and I am ready to conquer. So that's your goodbyes. That's your cue to leave. Go ahead. Be on her team. That's a war they want. Come on, bring it on. Adios. Coming up on Dance Mom. Maddie just did a duet with a grown man. You can interpret it however you want. Okay. I can't see a grown okay. man like that. Sorry. 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 You guys really? have duets <laughs> this week, just like Maddie and Shia did. Right? Yeah. Do you like... think you'll get 22 million hits? Oh, come on, Kendall. <laughs> we can do it. Come on. We can do it, girls. You really have to act, and that's great preparation for LA. Make it count. It's all about your characters. You have to, like, tell the story so people, like, get it. Just kill it. The last time you guys had a duet, you won the whole competition, remember? Are you emotionally attached now? All right, girls. We have this competition this weekend, and one more next weekend, and then we're back in LA. Uh, yeah, where you got your butts kicked. 
So let's go out and let's do your best, regardless of who else is here, what else they're doing. We're going out there, we're doing three duets. Maddie just did a duet. She did a duet with a grown man who isn't a dancer, but he acted. Got it? All right, girls, break a leg. role play and act like Jojo. She's got to prove to Abby that she can act and that Maddie is not the only one. Easy. Kendall and JoJo's duet is cute. I think they're adorable. Does cute win? We'll have to wait and see. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the little girl down the lane. Abby wants all the girls to act. And after last week, Mia definitely has to redeem herself. I'm feeling incredibly nervous for her right now. for them. I love it. Same six steps. You know you're embarrassing yourself in front of all these people. I don't care. I would be embarrassed about the video that your daughter was in. I can't see a grown man like that. Sorry. Clearly Sorry. That. Sorry. Sorry. Clearly. Coming up on Dance Moms. Why would you let your kid do that? Oh my she God. Would sell her kid to any Tom, Dick, or Harry on the street corner if she thought it would get her face on television. I would be embarrassed about the video that your daughter was in. Yeah. I tried to tell Melissa that there are people out there who don't like Sia's new video. And now Maddie has to hear it for the first time from this ignorant Candy Apple's mom right before she goes on stage. What do you all think? Are you all embarrassed at what Maddie did? Or do you love Maddie? Yeah. 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 I'm in shock right now. I just hope this nonsense doesn't affect her performance. There was never time to say goodbye when the waves are crashing down. 
I'm screaming inside. I just wanted to jump up and scream. I'm so proud of those girls. They walked through the storm with their heads held high, and those rotten candy apples didn't affect them at all. You do not sit in that audience and say anything negative about anybody because you never know whose mom or whose dad or whose grandparents are sitting around you. Why would you let your kid do that? Oh. My she God. would sell her kid she to would any sell Tom, Dick, I, I or agree. Harry on the street corner if she thought it would get her face on television. I will be sick to my stomach if my junior league competition team lets this horrible, wretched imbecile beat us. They will never hear the end of it from me. Good luck. Love you. OK, this has got to happen, all right? You're a great team. Go out there and get them. I haven't had a win against Abby in two years. A lot is at stake this week. I let my entire team go so that I could get a bunch of new girls and groom them. I really hope that we can pull out a victory. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage entry number 69, Get a Clue. My girls have to go out there and do their best. They know these girls, that they're beautiful ballet dancers. So I think they're going to be on their A game. was enough to win. This week, knowing that Abby hand-selected Kathy's team, definitely we are feeling threatened. We're feeling intimidated. The kids lost almost the whole day of rehearsal. If this team beats us this week, it is definitely Abby's fault. Coming up on Dance Moms. We can't let the Proud Apples win. There's no way. has a lot of anguish against Abby and ALDC. We've got a lot of history. 
And these girls are hungry to take Abby and her girls down. team was very interesting. I like the choreography. And if I lose to Kathy, I'm never going to forgive myself. How's everybody doing? All right, we're going to get right to it. The duo, trio, overall, third place. Entry. The fact that Kendall was third, I thought she was great, but she'll do better next time. I'm sure of it. Second place. Entry 29, the little girl down the lane. You know what? With a second place win, I feel victorious. I think Mia and Kenzie should be delighted on our cloud nine. And in first place, engine number 27, walking through us all. My duets race to the finish line, win, place, and show. One, two, three. Finally, small group. Here we go. Now is the moment of truth. It's time for the group awards. I hope that my girls win, because we can't let that crab apples win. There's no way. Fourth place, entry number 56, Mirrors. Third place, entry number 70, Ethereal. Third place. Are you kidding me? I am in shock. And first place. Entry number 69, I could not be more upset. They were all over the place, and we were spotless. We were robbed. They thought they were going to come here and smoke everyone. It was not even a contest. It just goes to show you what Kathy just doesn't know what she's doing. Because there are beautiful dancers in that group. You girls were amazing. Stop it right now. Despite what happened out there, you know what? We're still happy to be with you. We are. Exactly. I mean, it's like that stupid clue dance was pathetic. Absolutely pathetic. JoJo and Kendall's terrible. I know. I mean, this is her. If that kid ever had any strength in her arms, it would be amazing. It's unbelievable to me. We're going to come back next week. We'll pick ourselves up, we'll dust ourselves off, and we'll be even stronger and better. Next week, we're going to go in a different direction with something that is extremely flawless. I promise you, we're going to give you a win. We will. Congratulations to all of you. Now, I just wish we could do this in LA. Next week, we're going to have a very important week, and then we are on the road to Los Angeles. Yes. Yay. Hollywood!